Okay. I think we should be live now. Just fix up chat in OBS so I can actually see chat. And let me just post the link to the stream in Discord so people know I'm live. Wait a second. Yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. There we go. Wait a second, just a second. There we go. Okay, now everyone should know I'm live. <clears throat> At least people on Discord. And I can see that I'm live on Twitch as well, so that's good. Okay. Let me just connect my controller and then we can get started. I'm a bit early as it is, so I don't think uh, it's that big of an issue if I'm fucking around with shit first. Yeah, for a second. There we go. I think I'll look good here. Oh, anyways. Um, let me switch to the game. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright. First things first, as always. Gonna introduce the build real quick. Wait right, a second, let me check something actually first. Okay. First things first. The build. I think the visuals are self-explanatory. I don't think we need to go too, too in-depth with that one, right? We got the, the, the Chaos Blades. One of them is not upgraded. Because I forgot to do so. Um, it shouldn't be a problem for Margit, I'm assuming. Also, we have two weapons, which are kind of... I mean, it's kind of powerful either way. So, I mean, you know. It's just bonus damage for it. I don't want to be too overpowered, as I said. I'm going to upgrade this as I get, like... As it becomes necessary. I'll probably just do, like, five after each, like, uh, major boss. Uh, or something like that. Then, for, for the outfit, we got the Duelist Greaves. Because, you know, it looks Greek. It looks Greek. Well, it actually kind of looks more like Roman, not Greek, but whatever. Same thing, doesn't matter. Oops. <coughs> I also debated using this one since it's red, but... Uh, no, I think this fits Kratos much better. I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't wear that much red in the fucking thing. Yeah, and then nothing nothing else really fits as much as that, I feel like. And then for the for the bracelets or gauntlets or whatever, we got the chains, obviously. Come on, I, how can I not do the chains? I mean, it's Kratos, come on, I have to do the chains. Like, come on. Then for the bills, we have we have the for the talismans. We got the Dragon Crest, Great Shield Talisman, pa paired with the Pearl, Lake, Pearl Drake Talisman. This is purely just to make him uh, as resistant as possible, because as we know, gods are near immortal. Then we have the Godskin Swat, whatever the fuck that is. We got that. Restore successive HP. This is meant to kind of uh, simulate, you know, the red orbs you get in the games whenever you defeat enemies. I was essentially, I was firstly first gonna go for the for the thing that actually is for defeating en enemies, which is this. Restores HP up and defeating enemies. I was gonna go for that, but I realized that uh, it's completely fucking useless. Uh, for bosses, to be fair. And I'm pretty sure in the games when you actually hit bosses that they also drop healing stuff. I'm pretty sure it's not that the bosses are in the games are, you know, no healing runs. And then lastly, we got the Rotten Sword Insignia thingy. Uh, which uh, greatly raises uh, attack power with successive attacks. Very simple reason for this. Uh, combos. There's combos in the God of War games. So what you're gonna do, take this to incentivize, you know, an aggressive playstyle attacking and stuff all like that, you know what I mean? And I think that's it for the build, pretty much. We obviously got some shit here, but, uh... Alright. We got the stamina thing. I have no idea why I have that. I'm probably gonna replace it. And the poise. I have no idea why I have that either, honestly. Why did I put those in? Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And then we also got the blood boil aromatic. For a very simple reason, you know. It says... Temporary state of fer fervor. Fervor, whatever the f I don't know what the fuck that means. Probably something to be with you doing mad, but, uh... Being mad. And Kratos is mad all the time, so we're gonna do that. What's up? Hello, Lucky9. How are you doing? How are you doing today? As you can see, the beanie is off. I actually put some effort into my hair this time. No, it's fucking shining like crazy. It's annoying as fuck. I wish I had some gel instead. Or oh, not gel. Uh, The other thing. The thing that doesn't make your hair look shiny as fuck. But still holds it. Okay, let's beat the Grafted Scion. We can do it this time, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty confident we can do it. 
Look, guys, it's Kratos when he was still good. What do you mean? Dude, what do you mean good? What do you mean good? You're saying the new games suck? Why? The new games are clearly better than the old ones. Not, not clearly, but they're literally different genres, so you can't compare them. Okay. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Consume it just because. No, come on. Come on, come on, come on. I want to do twice. That was so unnecessary. The 2018 game was fine, but Ragnarok is extremely mid. I haven't played Ragnarok, so I can't speak. And the 2018 game was not fine. It was fucking great. It was amazing. It's literally a 9 out of 10 game. I don't know what you mean. People really do not do not like cutscenes. I noticed in games for some reason. I don't get it. Like the gameplay is literally fire. It's great. Sure, that's a couple of cutscenes, but at least the cutscenes are all interesting to watch. They're not boring. Although the game isn't replayable at all. I will admit that. The game is not replayable. Because you, you, I'm not, I'm not going to sit through the cutscenes for a second time. Hell no. First time through, it's interesting, but everything else, no. I love Sony cinematic slop games. How is it slop? Dude, you're, you're actually high, dude. You're actually high. You're actually high. Why do people do this shit? I swear to God, nowadays. It literally, if a game has a cutscene, it's a bad game. I swear to God. Despite how good the gameplay is. Like, you're not going to tell me that the gameplay in the older games is better. You're not going to tell me that. Wish there was Kratos in D4. What's D4? What the hell is D4? But the Valkyrie was a great boss. Yeah, okay, so you're just one of those people who just like, Bro, the boss is too easy, make me fall asleep. Oh. The boss is so easy. Bro, the boss doesn't like stun lock me and one shot me. It's so easy. It's so easy. I can't play unplayable game, bad game. Dia Di Diablo 4 or Diablo 4. I haven't played it ever, so I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay. As per tradition, Soldier of Godric. By the way, guys, I started editing my uh, my first, well, first. The, the fir first of the challenge runs that we did with the characters, custom, with the, with the builds. Like the Melania one that we have like two streams from, uh, for. I started editing that one. I'm, I'm like, I got like 30 to 40 minutes, I think. Wait, I just said something I remembered about it. Damn it. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you, hey, you're showing your opinion. Get ready to get, have your opinion challenged. If you show it publicly, man. That's how it works. Welcome to the internet. It's not really about it being easy. It's just a lot of mindless spam. Being fancy no, brings nothing, really. How is it mindless spam? Have, have we played the same game? You played the game on easy. You literally played the game on easy. What do you mean mindless spam? It's literally not mindless spam. You're, like, you're actually high off your gourd. You're actually high, high off your gourd. I swear to God. Literally, literally saying like nonsense that like has no foundation in reality. Anyways, yep. Soldier Godric, difficult as always. That was close. That was close. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Holy shit, guys, guys, that was so fucking close. That was such a, that was such a hard fight, man. Look at, look at my. I don't even have any flask left. As always, the most difficult fight in these runs. As always, really. No, I played on hard. Press X to doubt. Press X to doubt. What you're saying is literally impossible. You're saying, you're saying mindless spam. You're either like exaggerating to like another fucking degree. Like nobody ever in history has exaggerated as much as you. Or uh, you're actually just lying. If you played on hard and you're just, we're just, what, we're just doing one of these? Just doing that? I highly doubt that. That, that, that does not work in those games. I know because I did play the games on hard, actually. And, and that you gotta actually fucking uh, apply strategies to the, to the enemies. Fair enough, when you figure out the strategy, yeah, the enemy's not hard to deal with. Guess what? It's the same thing with Elden Ring. Or any other game. So you can call any other game easy as well, I guess. Or boring, sleeper, spammy. Whichever. It's not spam until the Muspelheim, Valheim, and Valkyrie challenge. Ah, uh, that's what you meant. You meant the Valkyrie spam? I, I don't think so either. I think you need to actually like learn how to dodge his moves and stuff. 
I still like Elden Ring. It's a 10 out of 10. Ragnarok is 6 out of 10. I mean, I would say that's fair enough, but you also think Elden Ring is a 10 out of 10, so clearly you're wrong. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah, I mean, 7 out of 10 is a fine rating. You said mid. How is 7 out of 10 mid? How's... or okay? How's that okay? That's great. 7 out of 10 is great. When people allow that... I feel, sorry, this is a problem with everyone, not just you. Everyone says like, yeah, mid game, 7 out of 10. <laughs> it's like, what? How is it mid? Like, everyone does that nowadays. It's so weird. Like, a mid game is a 5 out of 10. That's literally what it means to be mid. People's ratings are so weird nowadays of games, I swear to god. Because nobody actually really thinks about what they're rating the game. They just, they just like, go with feeling. I said Ragnarok was mid, not the first one. I mean, OK is literally 6 out of 10. To be fair. OK is like, slightly better than mid. Actually, OK is probably interchangeable with mid, I'd say, so... But yeah, whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, we go to Godric right away. Honestly, Elden Ring is a mid 10 out of 10, yeah. Literally, literally everyone nowadays, I swear to God. It's a shattered, flawless, uh, crippled masterpiece. <laughs> crippled masterpiece. Uh, I, I wonder, is there, a, is there a video online that, that calls Elden Ring a crippled masterpiece? Because that's, that's actually kind of funny. That, that's actually a great title. Elden Ring, a crippled masterpiece. <laughs> Okay, say we go from uh, Margaret right away. He'll probably take us one try. It's easy. And then, or am I still? Yeah, I'm level 20, right? So we're playing fair. And then uh, after Margaret, we just go for Godric right away, I think. Well, basically like every other stream. I don't know why I feel the need to explain every single time. I'll explain when someone new joins in and actually asks. I'm just trying to like fill up uh, time, you know? But uh, what do you guys think of my Kratos? Wait a second, let me, let me rest first. There's no video with not with that name. So sad. I'm, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Crippled Masterpiece. Because if I call it anything other than Masterpiece, people rage. You can literally call it like the biggest piece of shit game ever. It doesn't matter as long as you add Masterpiece to it and everyone's fine with it. Look, look at this. What do you guys think? I think this is like pretty fucking accurate to Kratos. I made this myself. Out. This is not a preset that I yoinked. And I think I made the best Kratos ever, honestly. I, don't, I have not seen anyone make a better Kratos than this. This literally looks exactly one to one like Kratos. It's perfect. It's actually perfect. Like we're, we're getting even closer. Look at that. That is literally Kratos. That is perfect. That is as close to him as you can get. That is so perfect. Gollum is a masterpiece. No cap. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. Oh, beautiful Kratos. Looks up. No more. I only play the cutscenes until our character disappears. Then we stop. That, that damage sucks. That damage sucks ass, actually. I should upgrade both my weapons. Bro, this guy literally doesn't let me punish him. What a trash boss. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Please, please, please. Yoink! You idiot! You idiot! No, no, no. I heal. You b input reading bitch! Fuck's sake. Thou art, Thou art of passing skill. No! 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 Oh my god. As if attacking from neutral in Dark Souls 3 was a good idea. What do you mean? I don't ever remember getting one shot for, for, uh, for attacking from neutral. I think you're just misremembering shit, guys. You, you haven't played Dark Souls 3 more than once. I think you're just misremembering stuff. And you probably play with uh, boys build and just speedrun the game, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, and Dark Souls 3, the issue is... Like, that, here's the thing, here's the thing. No, I'm, I'm fucking with you, but I'm just trying to piss you off. Uh, here's the thing, right? Here's the, here's the thing. Let me, let, me, let me explain it to you. Why, why that, yeah, that argument means nothing. Dark Souls 3 is a game that encourages passiveness. It encourages you to wait for your enemy's attack and then react to it. Because it's a very slow game. 
This is not a very slow game. This game encourages you through its enemy design to be aggressive. Therefore, me attacking from neutral is completely reasonable. Because the game is basically telling me to do that. And then it punishes me for it. Yo, dude, jumpy, 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 dumpty, jumpy, dumpty, goodbye. Yeah, easy, easy game. Yes, but maybe don't do a very slow attack, I guess. I mean, that's fair, I guess. That's fair. But the issue is as well that the jumping attacks are pretty much the best way to close distance. If you run forward, like, and do that, like, I mean, I guess running, sprinting attacks are fine too, I guess. But, like, anything else, you can't, you can't just walk up to the boss. Because the bosses, whenever you get close to them, pretty much every boss in the game has, like, that one move, which just comes out super fast and is basically nigh unreact, nigh unreactable. At least if you're like actually like going in with the attention to attack and not to like dodge. Obviously right, you can't really go in with the attention of both. You gotta commit. Because these games were always about committing. Dude, committing to stuff. Yeah, I hope they make this better in the DLC. Well, I don't know what they'll make, they'll make better exactly. No, I'll use the main gate. It's Kratos. Uh, I don't know what they'll improve exactly, but... Uh, I hope I hope there is shit to improve. I know people cap and say there isn't. If there wasn't any shit to improve, I guess what the DLC wouldn't exist. It's as simple as that. that that's why Sekiro doesn't have a DLC, because there's nothing to improve. It's a perfect game already. For I mean, as perfect as From Software can make it. Why do people mix unreactable with undodgeable? They're two different things. Because uh, nobody says un. Well, I guess people do. Uh, I only say undodgeable when I'm pissed off. Otherwise, I clarify. As for unreactable, oh, I, I, as for like when I'm pissed off, then obviously I'm gonna say undodgeable because it sounds like more aggressive than unreactable. You know what I mean? So it like obviously I'm gonna say undodgeable because I'm pissed off. I'm not thinking. I'm just th I think of the most aggressive fucking way to describe the bullshit I'm feeling right now. That's such bullshit. Wait, so, there's literally only two crossbows. How's that? How are they firing every half a second? I don't get it. There's only two. Do you not do you not need to reload? What's happening? See, literally undodgeable. Come on. <laughs> I feel like the only people who can you can blame for using undodgeable is people who actually try to use it as an argument in like a video where they actually um, analyze the game. You know, everything else you can't really criticize. I mean, obviously, when people are pissed off, believe it or not, right? I know, I know, every single person who like plays these games is clearly a pacifist. Right, a, a little pussy bitch boy pacifist who like never complains about anything and never gets mad. Literally zero, zero. Uh, what's it called again? What's the thing? In your veins, that like in your veins. Like the thing that makes males more aggressive. That that one uh, gene. Well, they I know Elden Ring players especially have literally zero of that in their blood. So in their genes. So I know they never get pissed off. But believe it or not, when people get pissed off, they say dumb things or things that they don't mean. They're not exactly. They don't think about the stuff they say too much. You know. Which is why I have the, you know, PewDiePie Bridge incident. That That's how that was created. Because he, dude was angry, didn't think too much. Fuck off, just let me get past, please. Let me cunt. Every single time I pass through here, I do it perfectly, and this time I just get, I'm just getting ganked. Yeah, I love it. I love how they time their attacks like that. It's such bullshit, dude. They literally do it on purpose. They must do it on purpose. Like, they literally, like, attack. Oh my, are you serious? How can I climb over that? They literally, yeah, see, see that? They attack at, like, perfect times. So, like, if one, if one enemy misses you, the other is 100%. Not 100% guaranteed to hit you. 100%. There's like no chance that, that you will not get hit. It's actually so annoying. It's basically the game the game is just basically discouraging you from speedrunning it really. Or just like ignoring enemies. You have to fight every single enemy, it's annoying. Unless if you don't wanna like risk, you know, getting fucking uh uh st uh stun locked by enemies. I I just, I just hate it so much when they time their attacks like that. 
By the way, me saying 100%, I, I'm not gonna clarify, fuck you. If you can, if you can, if nobody can, if people can recognize that I didn't, obviously, if that wasn't a critical analysis, then, uh, you know. There's no point in even talking to those people. Because believe it or not, I'm right now, I'm kind of pissed off that I died, which is why I said it's fucking 100%. It happens 100% of the time. It doesn't happen 100%, it's just me being unlucky. But still, it is annoying that it can't happen at all. Oracle 6 has no DLC because it's perfect. Could be another fucking example of what I was saying. Like, Elden Ring has a DLC, is gonna get a DLC, and the best thing is that the Elden Ring DLC is like the longest yet. What, you think they did it because it was the most success successful game yet? You think From Software gives a shit about that? Like, you clearly have, not, you have no idea what, 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 anything about so From Software if, if, you, if you expect. I'm not talking to you, Lorenzo, just in general. I'm saying you as a general uh, thing. Um. You know, people who think that, that Elden Ring is getting a DLC only because it's so successful. It's like, you do not know anything about From Software. They, From Software does not give a shit about what you say about their game. 100%. They do not give a shit. If they did, they would have actually patched some bosses, like Melania, for example. Maybe because they wanted to mix two DLCs together or because it's an open world and open world games are huge. Well, first of all, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be even open world as much as the, the base game. And also, you say open world areas are huge. It doesn't matter. Uh, unless they're gonna fill it with more garbage like in the base game, you know, just just reuse reuse dungeons and stuff uh, Which I highly doubt they're gonna do unless they do it with that then the, the, the game time just makes no sense that why would, why would it be that long? Here, here's my game theory. Here's my game theory it, It's it's that long because they know how flawed Elden Ring is and they know how much uh, more sh stuff They could have done they know that they could have done so much more with this game Which is why I criticize a lot because I expect much more because this game has so much potential. It's insane and uh that reason, and also it might be because of what you just said, like mixing two DLCs together, that's also very possible. But then again, I don't think so, since they don't have like two, uh, they're not gonna have like two different thingies. What do you call it? Two different, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, two different areas or something like that, or two different teams or topics or whatever. Huh? You know what I mean, like, it's gonna, it's all gonna be like rely on the same thing. It's gonna be Mikola's dream. That's literally the place of the DLC. Everything that takes place in the DLC is in Nicholas' dream, pretty much. That's bullshit. I love that. I love it because I, I dodged it a millisecond too late that I got fucked over permanently. And do it again. Yep. I have no choice but to do dodge that attack. I can't jump attacking because it's too risky. It actually is too risky. Fucking hell, dude. Man, calm down. Yo, what's up? Hello, cat. Cattle McWi Mc McWidle. That's such a good name. Uh, nothing much. We're doing a little bit of a, a little bit of a run here. A little bit of a God, God of War run, as you can tell. Okay, the issue is I fucked up now because I have no stamina. Fuck. Okay, never mind. It regions fast. We're good, we're good. Yeah, goodbye. God, bruh. Godric the grafted, more like Godric the fucking dead. That was horrible. I should not make jokes like that. I can't do them. What's that? What the fuck? Dude, calm down. Thanks. I don't know a lot about God of War, but I like challenge runs. Nice, good to know, good to know. This is definitely the place for you in that case, because, uh... Oh, okay, I'll be... No! Wait, what? Please. Okay, I'll be 100% transparent with you. This is New Game Plus, by the way. It was, I think it was obvious by the fact that I have both of the weapons, but still. But, here's where the challenge run comes, comes in. I'm rune level 20 on New Game Plus. However, to be fair, my weapon is upgraded to max. Well, only one of them, but still. So that's where the challenge part comes in. What the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, he just go through the pillar? No, he does it again? Come on, dude. Come on, just like fucking. Are you. Can you get unstuck, please? No, I'm just gonna sit down. I'm just gonna sit down. I'm just gonna wait for him to come to me. <laughs> what, what, what do I do? What, what, what am I supposed to do? What, what do I do? <laughs> I literally can't do anything. I'm just stuck. I mean, I'm not stuck. He's stuck. 
I mean, I could go to him, but that's risky. He's gonna hit me with this? Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Oh, don't worry, I'm new game plus six, and that is challenging. No, 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 no. My fucking controller disconnected. I think it's empty. Fuck, dude, wait a second. That or because I literally haven't touched it at all. Uh, Let me just connect my controller so it's charging. Fucking hell. But here's the plan. <gasps> now he gets unstuck. Now he gets unstuck. When I'm fucking connecting my controller back again, now he gets unstuck. What a prick. What a fucking prick. L game. 1 out of 10. Fucking horrible game. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? <laughs> Our plan, right. Well, I think our plan is, the, the thumbnail might be a bit of clickbait, I'm not too sure, I don't think it is. Uh, I guess it depends on how people interpret it. Well, I'm not gonna fucking like, I don't have like some kind of mod or anything that slowly ages me or something like that. Because I thought maybe people think of that. Um, what we're gonna do is just play as young Kratos up until uh, Morgoth. And then for Morgoth, we're gonna switch to old Kratos. Uh, and then we're gonna play the game with the with the axe. And well, I guess we're gonna use the magma blades as well, the chaos blades as well with old Kratos, but like probably like later. Like maybe when we reach Fair Missoula, or no, no, that's too soon. When we finish Fair Missoula, well, maybe then we switch back to them. Or like back and forth at least. But like for Melania, I'm definitely using the axe, not the fucking blades. Like, I know she's weak to fire damage, but I'm sorry, but she's weak to fucking frost way more. Why the fuck would I use fire damage? We'll see, we'll see. But we are definitely switching at least visually to old Kratos. Uh, when we reach Morgoth. Yoink. Goodbye. Oh, wait, what's happening with the... Fuck, wait. Ah, oh, shit. I just noticed you guys aren't seeing something that you should be seeing. Uh, I'll fix it, wait. I'll fix it during the cutscene. Uh, where is it, where is it? Not here. Wait, did I close it? I think I might have closed it. Wait, you guys can see something here, right? Like, fucking hell. Okay, that's weird. Uh, ignore this real quick. I thought I, I thought I had. How's it look now on stream? How's it look now? Yeah, now it looks fine. Now it looks fine. Yeah, it was supposed to be this uh, little Kratos boy, in in the top corner, but he wasn't there for some reason up until now. And now my chat is fucked up. Why is my chat fucked up? Fuck, my multi-chat is fucked up. Wait a second, let me zoom out. No, that messes it up, kind of. I guess that's fine. Uh, how are you recreating the axe? Uh, it's gonna be the... What's it called? It's gonna be the... The Highlander axe, I think that's what it's called. And I'm gonna use, like, a... Fuck. The, the frost move. And not the frost stomp, because I don't think he does that even in the game. The one that, like, makes your uh, axe turn into frost. I'll, I'll, you'll see it later on, you'll see. I'll show, I can even show it after, after the boss fight, I just need to focus now for this. Yeah, basically just Highlander Axe with one of the frost, uh, or ice, or cold, whatever it's, made, it's called. Uh, Ashes of War. What are you doing? Huh? I thought it was from the front. Okay, whatever, at least I can show you the axe now. At least I can show you the axe. Let me just fix that real quick. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna show you where. So where's the... I think I already have it completely built. Yeah. We're using the heavy Highlander's axe with the, with the thingy. Chilling Mist. Because I'm pretty sure in the game, from what I remember, at least in, Ra in Ragnarok. He's not Ragnarok. The fucking, what's he? The 2018 game. Uh, the mo He does use like a similar move to this. Where he like sends out a slash of ice. And then he has uh, his uh, axe imbued with ice as well. So we're gonna be using that for the axe. It's kind of unfortunate that there isn't a move where you can like throw your fucking uh, weapon, because that would be pretty good. Because that's like one of my favorite moves from the from the 2018 game, where he just fucking chucks his fucking axe forward. 
We would love it if I could do that, but uh, unfortunately I can't. No actual warder does that. At least to my knowledge. No, fuck off! That, I hate that. That shit, that shit is literally undodgeable, that first one. To be fair, it's not a big... It's not a big issue or anything. It does no damage. Come on, come on. I can dodge this. No, I already fucked up. Whatever. Ah! Oh, I have to fucking sneeze! Okay, I don't anymore. We good. What? Why sucks? Why do I suck so much? What's happening? Stop! Nah, literally undodgeable. I hope most people just run away from this move. I hate running away from it. I like to actually, you know. Hello? Why the fucking- Okay, I did not expect the- I need to get used to these weapons. I did not expect the fucking light attack after a roll to be that slow. That's actually slower than like a charge attack, I swear to god. Like, how is it that slow? Wait a second. That's actually so slow! Look how slow that is! Why does that take so long? That actually takes so long. I think the, the, the fucking charge attack would be faster, probably. Not really. They're both slow. Why so slow, though? At least this is fast, right? No, this is still slow. Damn. It's pretty slow as hell. Fuck, I dodged too late. Oh no, too early. Oh, I thought he was gonna do something else. Oh, fuck off. I love how everyone memes on this boss and I'm actually fucking struggling against him. But I bet, I bet he's gonna be the only boss we struggle with. Because every single one of these streams, we have like one boss that we struggle with, and it's always like the most unexpected shit ever. The most unexpected one, at least. Yeah, I get fucked. Come on! Uh, I thought I could. I literally pressed X though. Or uh, X. R1. I still couldn't. Uh, uh, still couldn't. What was I gonna say? Repost him. That was a bit weird. I guess my controller just uh, disconnected. Well, not disconnected, just lagged, I guess. Bro, you're fucking ugly as shit, man. Yeah, get fucked. It's so easy, so easy. If, if, you, you, if you abuse the game, any boss is easy. Oh, pretty much. I'm literally just spamming fucking jumping attacks here. I can't even fucking see because of the dust! It's so unfair. I need to upgrade my weapon, I'm not doing a lot of damage. I feel this boss is still like take a lot as well. Like with the jump attack, I'm doing like with the jump attack I'm doing what I would what I would expect from like the the basic attack. Because I don't want to spam jump attacks, those do like a little too much damage and stagger shit like that as well. Oh we beat him, he's gone. Bitch boy's gone. Get fucking flamed, bro. Get fucking flamed. Oh, even with this. Look how low the fucking resistances are when I remove this. <laughs> That's pathetic. Literally below 10. I'd actually get fucking... I would actually get fucking crushed. By like, uh... What's her name? Renala. No, not that I'm against that. Okay, I said we go straight for Renala then. And then after that, we gotta go grab the talismans, which is always the most boring part of the stream. I wish I could just go do Radon right away, without having to grab the talismans. Or not the talismans, what are they called? The... What? What the fuck are they called? The thing that you need to activate the, the, the fucking lift, the Dectus lift. Medi no, they're called the medallions, right? Oh, it's the talismans, right? Yeah, the medallions, medallions. I think it's Dectus medallions. I need to collect both of them. Luckily, they're not too hard, but you gotta walk around a lot, and it's annoying. It is a bit slow. And then we can fight. Oh, what's his name? What's his fucking name? Radan. I'm so fucking bad with names in these games.
I'm just gonna make my way to the, to the fucking uh, dragon. Yoink the fucking key from there. And then come back. Uh, to rail Karia. And then go fight Renala right away. Oh, I guess we're gonna fight the Red Wolf of Radagon first and then Renala. And then after that. Then after that, Radagon. Yeah. No, Radagon. Radon. I keep messing up the fucking name. Radon. And then, like usual, Morgoth. Moog. Uh, Fire Giant, Fair Mazula. Uh, Ashen Capital, and then fucking Melania. Because obviously Melania is the hardest boss in general for these runs. Not always the case, to be fair. Not always, but... I don't think I've been able to... Fuck, I spit on the microphone. I don't think I've been able to first try her yet. But to be fair, whenever I do beat her, I'm like, I like my, my scores are pretty perfect. Like, I get hit maybe like once or twice, and it's always either because of Waterfowl, because obviously, or um, the other move that she has. What's it called? The one where she summons like a bunch of clones that attack you. Because that one's also a bit iffy to dodge. Not as bad as the Waterfowl, but still. Okay. Uh, I think Kratos is quite a hateful person, so he probably would kill Bogart in this situation. By the way, uh, wa I'll just call you Waddle, Nick Waddle. Uh, we got a little tradition on the t on, on on these streams. Uh, usually we kill this guy, sometimes not. Depends on the, which character we're playing as. Uh, this time I'm pretty sure like Kratos is a pretty hateful person at this point in the game, or at this at this point in his life. So I I'm pretty sure he would fucking just murder him straight up. So so we gotta do that. This really this time is mostly for our, from our first playthrough ever on the channel. We did like a Chad run where we use these fist, fist weapons that Bogart has, the big balls, to beat the entire game. It's kind of a tradition to either kill him or you know, sit down with him and have a meal together, depending on the character. What the hell? Oh no, so that actually has a fucking unique move, the uh, curved swords on the... On the horse. I thought I would pay attention to it, because I know. Like, who the fuck actually uses horse combat in this game? It's actually... It's actually fucking just useless, straight up. I know that one of the things... I would really like to see in the DLC a boss that, like, utilizes horse combat properly. Unfortunately, unless they add, like, a... Make, make it so whenever you press X with torrent, you get iframes. Unless they do that. Uh, it's not gonna happen, probably. But, like, honestly, horse combat would have been fun. With, uh, with some of the bosses in this game, if only Torrent had, like, iframes whenever he pressed X. At least when he was on com in combat. Or whenever you were, like, uh, engaged with one of the bosses that are at least intended to be fought with a horse. Because, like, whenever you play with Torrent, it's kind of like a hit-and-run strategy. That's, like, the only, only way I can really do horse combat. Just hit-and-run. Bait on an attack, run away, and then go in for a swing. Like that. And then repeat. Quite boring, to say the least. least. Fucking hell, they're not, they're not a fucking... Uh, missiles. Magic missiles. Insane. Oh, uh, we can level up. I forgot. Oh, we didn't even level up for, uh, since uh, Margaret. I forgot about that. I didn't even go talk to fucking Mela now. What the hell? I didn't even talk to Melina, what the hell's wrong with me? Oh, did I? Did I just reject her or something? No, yeah, I must have talked to her. Well, I, or how did I unlock the bonfire then if I never... I guess I guess I activated but never rested at it. Okay, I got you. I said I got you, I don't know, nobody said anything. Huh? What's happening? Was the was the game black? What? Okay, sure. 
yes, yes. Yes, yes, let me level up now. I think I'll go to... Let me check the Reddit document to see uh, which level is recommended. Oh, wait, I need to do this every single time. That's kind of annoying. Wait a second. Uh, where is it? Where is it? For Kratos to show up. There we go. Okay, let me check. What is the what is the level, the recommended level for Renala? 40 to 50. Alright, I'll go for 45. I'll go in the middle, as always. Gotta go to round table hold first. Let's focus there a bit for a second. I mean, we're going to get a pretty good pace, 40 minutes. And we're going to be a Renal already. That's pretty good. I'll get better at doing these runs a bit, a bit quicker. I think I'll go just... What is it, 35 or something? Or did I say 45? 45, I think it was. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna yoink the souls because I got infinite pretty much. I'm surprised I'm not banned, honestly. I'm genuinely shocked. We'll just do nine right away. What was it? 45? 45, I believe. I'll go straight to 40 vigor and then I'll uh, put a bit in strength, maybe. Is this a weapons mod? Uh, no. We're just we're just uh, trying to recreate Kratos, Kratos and. Uh, Eldering just using normal weapons that are available to us. We got the fucking uh, magma blades for the chaos blades. And then we got the... What's it called again? The high... The heavy highlander axe for the leviathan axe. We got those two. At first we're using the chaos blades and then we're gonna use the leviathan axe later on. Okay. Strength is ability two? How much do I need for the axe? Okay, that's enough. For the axe, that's good. I guess the rest I'll try and put into... More Vigor? I don't, eh, I don't think so. Dexterity, I guess, maybe. To do that bit more damage. Alright, oh, I forgot. I need to fucking go and upgrade my weapon. As well. Because I forgot to do that before the run. I'm not gonna upgrade it to plus 20 right away, because I feel like that would be excessive for now. I'll upgrade it to plus 20 once we've beaten, like, Morgoth. I guess. Or no, Radon. Because Morgoth, for Morgoth I want max damage. I don't want to fuck around with Morgoth. Because he's actually a tough enemy. Or a tough boss. We're the first, like, really tough boss of the game. Oh wait, no, these... Ah, oh, never mind, never mind. I forgot that these go with plus 10 anyways. I already started. Might as well finish it. Nice concept, really. Thanks, but I... I just kind of got the idea because I was like, you know, I kind of want to try like creating different builds in Elden Ring, you know, and playing with uh, different characters. Just like, just like using what the game offers me, no mods, nothing. I literally have like a, uh, a man with no name uh, build as well, where I just use like one crossbow, like one one-handed crossbow as like the gun. And we're going to beat the whole game using that as well, or at least try. I'm not sure if that's possible. I have another run which that uses two fully automatic crossbows, like the, oh no, fully automatic, but those, uh, what are they called again? Repeating crossbows. So we're gonna, with those I'm pretty sure it's doable, I'm not just not sure if it's doable with the one. Cause that just seems like it would take such a long time. Cause obviously bows don't do a lot of damage in general in the game. But we'll see. We also already did like a couple of runs playing as like Elden Ring bosses, those were pretty fun as well. I think for tomorrow I'm gonna probably do like Luke Skywalker or something. Or maybe not actually, maybe uh... Actually I think I might try doing the Man with, uh, Man with No Name run. Just to differ differentiate between like each run that we do. I don't want to do two with sword. Oh, to be fair, this is with curved swords. That one will be with straight sword. We'll see. We'll see. Because already, to be fair, I already have the thumbnail ready for the for the Luke Skywalker one. 
but I don't have it for the a second let me lower the camera a bit and I don't have it ready for the man with no name one not yet anyways Let's just go straight to Renal and kick her ass. Should be pretty decently easy. I don't remember. I mean, Renal doesn't really give us trouble in general in these runs. I mean, this might be the first, really. Although I doubt it. I'm pretty sure the first one ever is going to be probably the Luke Skywalker one. I guess it depends on what I decide to go for eventually. I'm, not sure, I'm still not sure if I'll go for the uh, yellow li uh, yellow uh, lightsaber or if I'll just go for the for the blue one. Because if the yellow lightsaber would be like using the room sword or whatever, no, the code sword, coded sword, yeah, and that one would be more like accurate, I suppose, because the sword is literally made out of light, or I could use the cane weapon and, or cane sword weapon and just like use ma magic on it, uh, the magic enhancement to make it blue, I'm not sure which one I'll do yet, probably just the, the, the one that's actually like the sword made out of light, and then if I ever struggle, and like I straight up can't beat some of the bosses, like the final boss, which has literally 80% resistance to light or holy, I guess. For that one, I might have to switch to the cane, uh, cane sword and magic damage. Because holy shit, I'm not sitting there for like three hours <laughs> trying to beat the boss. Hell no. Blue is OG. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I was like, uh, I found, I was thinking of the build, right? And, and I saw like, okay, coated sword, that's made out of light. Uh, but he doesn't use a blue lightsaber though, you know, Luke doesn't use, use a blue lightsaber. Or blue lightsaber, yellow lightsaber. And it turns out he actually does in the comics. So, there's still room for that. I might do just a blue lightsaber for the final boss, just as a, like a little, you know, uh, OG type thing. <laughs> I got a little callback. Cause especially because I'm pretty sure both Radagon and Elden Beast are just like heavily resistant to light damage or holy damage. I don't want, I do not want to be sitting there for like God knows how many hours just trying to beat them. Like I, I struggle with them enough as it is. Well to be fair not that much but still. I don't want to start to struggle again. Especially Elden Beast. Because Elden Beast has like a bunch of attacks which just like, I feel like you, you, can, you have to take a bit of damage at least when fighting Elden Beast. Okay, it is very much down to luck if you take damage or not. As in like, damage at all. Like if you want to go do like a no damage run on Elden Beast, bro, that shit is uh... That shit is uh, what was I gonna say? That shit is just pretty much down to luck because of Elden Stars. It's gonna be your pattern one training, yep. Could be, could be indeed. And then I think after that, later this week, you also got a Sasuke run from uh, Naruto. Since I've been rewatching Naruto, so I decided to make Sasuke in the game. It, surprisingly, you can make a pretty good Sasuke in the game, surprisingly enough. I shame there's no blue lightning or black lightning, but still. Or, but to be fair, there's black fire, so that's good. And normal fire, so I can still use that. And the sword, th there is blue lightning, actually. The, the fucking uh, cold lightning, I forgot about that. So I can use that for, for the fucking all the... What are they called again? The jutsu he uses. I'm literally watching Naruto. I can't even remember what it's called. If I'm watching it on the side while like doing other shit, I'm not actively watching it. So that's another build that we got ready for that. And then I'm not sure. I think maybe maybe I'll just like scrap Friday, because usually I do Elden on Friday as well. And maybe I'll scrap that and I'll do uh, the Bloodborne PSX stream on Friday. Just like have Monday to Friday like from software related sh shit. Um, like mostly I'll learn but also like from soccer related stuff and then actually we can use for like actual games that have like nothing to do with the souls like genre I'm gonna have to change the channel banner though for that easy enough to do to be fair because if I don't, I don't think I want to play other for like five days straight that, that, that will actually mentally drain me it is, it is kind of boring, to be fair. I, like, playing the game that much, you know what I mean? Like, consecutively, at least. What would a Gandalf build, build like, be like? 
Doesn't he just use- I don't even know what spells he uses from the movies, I forget. I think he just uses like spells where he just pushes people. Like the force, basically. And then he uses also like one like light spell, I think. And that's pretty much it, isn't it? He doesn't use much else. I, I, if I did a Gandalf build, I would probably like take liberties and just like make it a magic build. Or like lightning or something else. I'd probably make it like a miracle build. And then I'd make the... Wait, how, why is he taking so much damage? He's red. Why is he weak to fire? What the fuck? Why did they lock off? I was gonna say. And then I'd probably make maybe like a Dumbledore or Harry Potter build. And that one I would do like uh, sorcery. Probably something like that. I'd probably have to take liberties with that. Because th those are pretty limiting. At least from what I, what I know about Gandalf. He has pretty limiting spells. He doesn't really have any high off offense spells. You know what I mean? Same thing I did with Mikola, really, you know? With my Mikola run, I basically just was like, eh, Mikola, Saint Trina, same person. I mean, not 100% confirmed, but pretty much confirmed. So I'll just make a Saint Trina build and call it Mikola, and that's it. And then, I'll, like, uh, basically, I used one sword, the, the sleep sword. I basically used it for the entire run, and then I reached Melania. I was like, I'm just not doing enough damage. So I was like, I mean, we don't know what sword, like, we don't, we don't know if it was one sword or two sword that Saint Trina uses. So I'm gonna use two swords, the <laughs> So I just beat her, beat, her with, beat her with two swords instead, because I wasn't doing enough damage. Yeah, so I do take liberties when I can. Although, like, for example, I do try to keep it like lore friendly as much as possible. Like with Melania, for example, I, I literally used her, I used her sword, right? But I refused to use it two-handed. I used it one-handed for the entire game, because, you know, Melania uses it one-handed. So I was like, I'm not gonna do a two-handed, come on, that's not realistic. That's not lore accurate, I can't do that. Probably gonna do the same for, for uh, Kratos, actually. So he only uses his uh, axe two-handed whenever he does charge attacks or, to, or uh, throws the axe. Or does any of like the special abilities. I don't think you like, de by default, I think he just like, does one of those with the axe. Loser. Get fucked. Bro's actually such a loser, it's insane. Yeah, goodbye, goodbye. Wait, I think I, I with Moog, I think with Moog though I failed that. I didn't do that quite right actually, because Moog also uses it with one hand mostly. Uh, I think only uses it to run it for like thrust attacks. And the thing with that is, though, I, I was using spells at the same time, right? So I kind of instinctively, like, whenever I, like, switched to, like, the weapon, or, like, switched off a spell, I would instinctively, like, do this and to end the weapon. So I think that, that one I wasn't able to quite do, like, one-handed only, but I feel like the majority of it I did one-handed. I don't know. I think it's fun to just add, like, these minor challenges, you know? Because, like, to be honest, like, this, I, I, I like watching Elden Ring challenge videos, right? That's why I also am doing them now. But I feel like a lot of them just like extreme, like very extreme. I, I prefer like more like simple challenges. Like I don't need to play the game on New Game Plus 500, you know what I mean? With uh, scaling unlocked. Like that's a bit extreme. That's a bit extreme. I feel like we have enough of those, so I'm not going to be doing probably any of those. I'm going to be doing like simple challenges, I think. Probably just mostly just like character runs, runs as custom characters. That seems fun to me for now. And then maybe I'll do some actual challenge. Or maybe I'll do like... Again, a yeah, simple challenge. Maybe I'll do like a challenge run where I beat the game with uh, like a specific weapon type. Or maybe even a specific weapon. Like a, literally a sp very specific weapon. Because that can be milked. That can be milked. But probably it just probably be like specific weapon type. Like can you beat Elden with daggers and then I'll just use only daggers or something like that. Just something to make me experience the game in different ways. Because there's a lot of ways to experience this game. It's, it's great in that regard. The, the, the amount of diversity is actually insane in this game. Build diversity specifically. The enemy diversity is, is kind of lacking, I won't lie to you. At least in terms of like how often the, uh, each enemy type is used. Because most of them are not used very often. You just kind of see like the same enemy type like 50 times. Sadly. I really like these built runs with some restrictions. Honestly, wouldn't even try those. <laughs> To be fair, we did that one. We did that one Soldier of God one, which was just overpowered as shit. And the best thing is, the best thing is, you'll find that I do. I actually complain about this game more than like the average person, aka I complain about it like at all, because uh, 
I feel like the average person doesn't even like have any criticism for Elden Ring. And the funny thing is, even in the fucking, uh, the fucking literal one that was meant to be like overpowered as shit, even there I somehow like started to complain about the game. It's actually insane. How fucking salty I get like whenever I uh, uh, lose to a boss. It's so funny. <sighs> and also, also the Shrek build kind of turned out to be unintentionally powerful. Probably would have been even more powerful to be fair if I did it like everyone else does it, which is just big club, but I actually did it lower accurate. Like with the sword and stuff. Like the, the knight knighted Shrek, you know what I mean? Like I did that run kind of. That's funny, I'm completely forgetting to use this. The fervor. I can't even use it. I don't have it. I haven't, I haven't crafted it, fuck. Fuck's sake. I haven't even crafted- no, I have crafted why can't I use the fervor? That's weird. Ah, Shrek built. <laughs> That's pretty fun, honestly. It was pretty fun. I did not expect it to be that overpowered, though. It was, like, actually really powerful. I beat the game in, like, what, four hours? Five, maybe? Dude, the damage fucking reduction sucks. I take so much damage. No! No! Fucking hell. Fuck's sake. Hey, you bitch. No, she's gone, she's gone, she's gone. No, no, stop, stop, stop. No, stop, 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 stop. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Perfect, 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 perfect. Goodbye, 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 woman. Goodbye, woman. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. come on, come on, come on. Fuck off, fuck off, goodbye. Yep, gone. Gone. Lamar, Lamar, you gone. I'm pretty sure that's not very accurate of, uh, wait a second. Does he have like a more accurate? <laughs> that's kind. That's kind of Kratos like. That's kind of Kratos like. I suppose. Yeah, that was easy. Okay. Now then, the next step is to grab the. This is the most boring part of the stream. Feel free to leave. <laughs> I'm joking. Please stay. Uh, what was I gonna say? We gotta grab the, the fucking, what are they called again? I keep forgetting their names. These things right here, the, the ones that literally uh, open the medallions, medallions. The two medallions. We gotta grab those because otherwise we can't fight uh, Radon. Because to be fair with, with Radon, uh, I mean, there you can like either do Rani's questline or do this. This is actually faster. To be fair, it's more boring, but it's faster at least. Like much faster as well. Yeah, nice. We got it. Uh, we got uh, two, well, three of the bosses in one hour. Two of the the main bosses. Well, I guess Margaret is also main boss. Well, we got him in uh, in less than an hour. That's pretty good pace. To be fair, I think with Soldier of God, we got it like in thirty minutes or something like that. It was insane. I think at least. I think. I think. Man, I hate how this game looks beautiful, like, depending on the time. And then on other times of the day, it just looks bad. But, like, here it actually looks great. It actually looks fantastic. Still, the, the ugliest, like, time of day I've ever seen in this game is, like, whenever the fuck it was, like... It was, like, every, everything is, like, foggy as shit. Like, I don't understand why. I've never seen that, like, up until, like, I think it was... It was in the Melania stream, I think. In the first stream that we did. That was, like, one of these challenge runs. Like everything was just super fucking gray and, and like, uh, it looked like the game just had zero lighting. It was very weird. Might have been a bug, actually, because I've never seen that before. Yeah, oh, by the way, I, uh, I got the... I got the Bloodborne PSX thumbnail ready. Yeah, that one's for then, I think, either Friday or... Uh, I think we're gonna do it Friday, probably. Fuck up, can you stop, dude? I'm actually gonna die. I, I got the thumbnail ready for that, and I got the thumbnail ready for... No, I guess just for that. And then I, need to get, I guess I need to get the thumbnail ready for Subnautica as well over the weekend. On Sunday, I think it was. And then on Saturday, I'll probably pick some other game to play as well. I think I know which one as well I, I, I kind of want to start playing. But too far, I'm not even sure if I have enough money to buy the game. 
probably do. And we'll see, I don't know. Maybe I'll just play some random horror games. Actually, yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. I think on Saturday I'll just play some horror games. So Friday, Blood Bloodborne PSX. Saturday, some horror games. Probably the... What's it called again? The... Poppy Playtime? Is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah. That one, I want to finish the first and second game at least. I think the third game is going to have to be its own stream, but still. And then the... Only on Sunday, we're going to play some Subnautica. And then back to Elder Ring after that, like usual. She'll need to like uh, split up the, the Elden Ring and then the other games because I need to take a break mentally from Elden Ring. Can't just play it every day. Especially because anyway, I am doing kind of the same thing, you know, finding the same bosses. It's, it's become routine at this point, really. Or maybe not yet, maybe not quite yet. Uh, there's still like a lot of diversity in the runs that we do. Eventually though, it's, just, it's gonna be like the most minor differences ever. Like for example, I got like an Alucard run from like Helsing, the anime. And then uh, we got the man with no name, which you both basically both just use crossbows. Except one uses two crossbows, one uses one. I guess one is a repeating crossbow, so I guess. Play some RuneScape and chill out. I've actually never played RuneScape in my life. Or any anything like that really. I played like a bit of a bit of World of Warcraft, but just like very, very little. Like the demo. We got to like level what, 20 maximum or something? And then you can't level up anymore. I think it was like that. I literally only ever played that. I've been really, the only games I play as like a, uh, in my childhood is like single player games. So honestly, I probably find RuneScape more frustrating than anything. I piss off a bunch of like hardcore RuneScape fans. So I'm probably I'm probably gonna avoid playing those kinds of games to be honest with you. Just to avoid pissing people off by saying like your your old beloved game is shit. It doesn't hold up. <laughs> to be fair, it might hold up. How do I know? I haven't played it ever. Okay, we got one of the talismans, that's good. Basically, as a child, I always just played like single player, like uh, Flash games, and that's pretty much it. I played also, I guess, uh, Ocarina of Time as a kid. Uh, not a lot of Mario. I played Majora's Mask as well, I guess. But yeah, just mostly just Flash games. I haven't been able to work in a while, so I started playing RuneScape. Nice, nice. I mean, nice, I guess, but also, are you paid at least? Is it, is it a paid leave or, or is it unpaid? Because if it's unpaid, that's a bit of a yikes. I'm assuming it's paid leave. Play the Wii Lego games back in the, the day. The Wii Lego games. But I, I, I've definitely played some Lego games. And I'm not sure if there's any Wii specific ones that I've played. Uh, what I, what, the, what kind of game, Lego games did I play as a kid? I think I just played like the the what's it called, the Lego Batman games. I think that, those are the ones that I played as a kid, pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much it, I think. I was definitely more of like a single player type gamer, definitely. I mean, to be fair, I did play Call of Duty as well, but that's about it. That's pretty much the only online games I've played. Well, I guess unless you count Mi Minecraft, but Minecraft I always played single player. I guess I did play Roblox as well as a kid. Those are legendary. Indeed, indeed. The, see, the new generation just doesn't know what, what, what kind of uh, experiences we've had. This legendary experiences, man. The, the, the modern generation will never know the feeling of your best friend betraying you and blo stealing all your fucking diamonds in Minecraft and blowing up your house with TNT. They will never know that experience. Yeah, see, this is the, like, part of the game, which I was like, I think, uh, was it? Yeah, it was in the Melania video. I'm, I'm editing right now, so it's fresh in my mind. I was like, holy shit, this is beautiful and stuff like that. But now when it's actually raining and, like, with this time of day, I don't know, it doesn't look, like, as beautiful as it did, like, there. It, just, it looks okay. It looks fine. Dude chills all over my body. <laughs> sorry to bring up some traumatic, uh, sorry to bring, bring up some uh, traumatic past events. <laughs> Bro, literally walked into her own death. Nice. And then the fucking what? What? I think Roblox. The only thing I played with Roblox was like the natural disaster map, or or game mode, or whatever the fuck it is. 
That's the only thing with Roblox that I really played. That and maybe like some Pokemon th themed shit, but that's it. And the funny, the funny thing is about it with Pokemon, like I was always a big fan of, fan of Pokemon. I never played, I'm well, not a big fan, I always liked Pokemon, but I never actually played more than like one Pokemon game, which is like Red and, uh, uh, Fire Red and uh, what's the other one, Leaf Green? I, play, I played Fire Red, I think. I actually never played any other Pokemon game besides that as a kid. I, I played them later, but... Honestly, it just made me... Honestly, playing anything other than... I should have just stuck to Fire Red and, and Leaf Green. Because um, when I actually played uh, the other Pokemon games, I was like, Holy shit! How, do any, how does anyone like anything past the first game they, uh, they played? Like, whatever whatever the game is. Like, the games aren't bad on their own, right? But if you, like, played on one Pokemon game, like, I'm sorry, you played all of them. I, I swear to God, if you played one Pokemon game, you played all of them. They're, they're all the same. I got so bored, dude. I, I, I was gonna do, like, a marathon of all Pokemon games. I fell asleep. I actually fell asleep. It was so boring. It was, it was actually so boring. People saying, like, old Pokemon games are better than the new ones. I would rather play, like, old ones and then new ones than play old ones than old ones. Because... The old ones are all literally the same. They play the exact same. They have, they have maybe minor updates to features. Like the, wor the worst defender I feel like is, what's it called again? The gold and silver uh, ones, the upgrades from it. I'm not sure if the original gold and silver had this, but uh, you like they literally just reuse Kanto or like the, f uh, is, that, is that the first region? I think that's the first region. The, basically, the region in Fire Red and, and Leaf Green, they reuse the entire region and they, they call it like a different game. I mean, to be fair, there's still a new region there, right? But you still like, like that's only half the game. In the other half, you go to the other thing. I thought it was like post game at first, but I was like, well, wait, wait the story's still going, so I guess it's not. And I actually quit it then. I was like, no more than that. Then I moved on to Emerald and I was like, I mean, yeah, this is just Fire Red, but with different Pokemon. Literally the exact same thing. So I guess you could say like, from like the originals and not the remasters, Emerald is probably my favorite, even though I never really finished it. Because it's same as Fire Red, really. So if you're excluding remasters, I guess you would say Emerald is my favorite. Because the original uh, red, and, red and Blue, I would not play. Those are like black and white, I think, or like with very limited color. And simple graphics, I don't know, I just don't feel like... I don't think that they look good at all. Yeah, that's why Power is so big right now, because Pokemon is just boring. Yeah, true. True. Yeah, like, like I said, like, first Pokemon game you ever play, holy shit, Mwah, it's great, right? Every every following one is just boring. It's just boring. I feel like the newer ones aren't, aren't even that bad, as bad as people say, at least. Like, I feel like they're, they're just, like, not innovating that much. I, I mean, to be fair, they actually are, never mind. They are innovating quite a bit. It's just the bugs that, that people dislike, I feel like. I don't know. But hey, at, le at least, at least the, the new Pokemon games bring in a bunch of, uh, you know... Uh, how would I say this without getting demonetized? A bunch of uh, enjoyment material. Let's just say that. A bunch of material for my private time. Let's just say that. There's a lot. Like the new games, holy moly, dude. The new games actually have so many fucking, like, uh, so many just. Mwah, characters, you know what I mean? Fantastic. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Ah, <laughs> the 3D experience. Yep. Okay, are we here? Yeah. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Yeah, we're here. Can I... Oh, great. Can't even jump over the tail. I definitely don't think the, the new, newer games are better than the old ones. I think they're all like equally kind of shit. I think whatever your first game is, is going to be probably the best game you, you play of the Pokemon series. And then everything else is just kind of mid. Because it's the same game basically with minor changes. Like, surprisingly enough, I don't feel that way about Mario games, though. Like, I feel like some people would say that about the Mario games as well. I don't feel like that at all. I think Mario games actually, like, manage to stay fun regardless of how many you play. Because I've I managed to, like, I, I played all of my, all of the mainline Ma Mar Mario, 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 fucking iDubs, man. I got fucking iDubs flashbacks from that. Um, I played all the Mario games uh, in a row. Basically just all of them. I just marathoned them. Obviously, not, not like, without stopping. I did sleep. 
I didn't go to university or not university. It was college. I was going to college. Well, not college. Vocational school, I guess, in English. What are we called? Um, yeah, I managed to speed. I managed to go through all those games with Pokemon. I got bored at the second game. I was like, I finished the second game. I was like, I, there's, I don't need any more of this. With Legend of Zelda, it was a bit. It was kind of the same for the 2D games. I feel like I don't know. They just. Uh, like, don't see why, why Legend of Zelda, like Oracle of Seasons and the other one, the Oracle games, why I would play them over like Link's Awakening. And obviously, I don't also see why I would play Link's Awakening twice, unless it's for nostalgia's sake. Like, I would not replay Link's Awakening. It was a great experience, but I would not replay it. Now, the first Zelda game, that shit I would replay. And that's, that's not because of the game itself, that's because of the fucking, uh, how I played it. Holy shit, it was one of the best experiences of my fucking life, I swear to god. I basically used like a custom uh, guide, custom game guide that some random guy made. Not even like official, like unofficial game guide by some by some guy. I think his name is like Felipe or something, something like that. Or I think it's Phil Philip or Felipe, something like that. Like he he made he made a basically a custom guide for the first game, first ever Zelda game. And holy shit, dude, playing it with that, it's it actually like brought me back to my childhood. You feel like you're like on an adventure and shit. It's actually insane how he managed like. Bring up that feeling in me again. I haven't had that feeling since I was a child. I, I haven't felt like that kind of like sense for adventure and shit since I was a kid. And the fact that some some random dude on the internet just by making like a ga guide for like an old ass video game was able to like bring that out of me again. That that was so good. That is actually one of the best experiences of my life. Just playing the original Zelda with that guide. It's actually so good. That feeling is the best. It really is. But it's really 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 difficult to recreate as, as an adult it's so difficult even like the best you can do is like play play games like that like invoke nostalgia in you but it's not the same it's not the same thing why is that even buffing at all with this thing kind of wanted to do it because you know kratos mad <laughs> kratos mad kratos smash and this uh, item kind of like invokes that thing, but still, that's why I like Elden Ring. It gives me that almost every time, really. Because for me, it's it's really the exact opposite. It just makes me frustrated, and at least when it comes to like the exploration bit and like the feeling of adventure. Because like I feel like the uh, this is controversial, obviously. Uh, so plug your ears if you don't if you're if you're sensitive to anyone criticizing Elden Ring, because I do that a lot. Um, the open world I don't think is good in Elden Ring. I think it's literally like comparable to the newer Pokemon games, and, and I think those are those are trash. Like I do not like the open world in this game at all. It, it basically like is basically just there to like take you from legacy dungeon to legacy dungeon, and for like to make farming more bearable, I suppose. For those who don't like to just sit there and kill the same enemy over and over again, you know what I mean? Because ultimately, like all the dungeons in the game, they don't really serve a purpose beyond just like giving you items and souls. They're not exactly there. Like they're not exactly like they don't have a lot of care put into their designs. I feel like. So like whenever I find a new dungeon, I'm like, great, is this gonna be a unique dungeon or, or something that's like reused again? I wonder, I wonder, and it's always the reused shit. And it's just boring. It's just boring. It's disappointing, right? And also like, there's a, a lot of places in the game where you like find little corners where it's like, there's a secret there, I bet there's a secret there. You go there, there's nothing. And like the issue is obviously that like the issue isn't that there isn't a secret there. The issue is that it looks like it should be a, there should be a secret there. Like clearly from software, at least in my opinion, clearly they like in those areas they intended to put a secret there, but they just ran out of time and couldn't do it. I get it gameplay wise, but the atmosphere does it for me. Yeah, that that I can't even relate to that honestly. I feel like the atmosphere in the Dark Souls games is better. Uh, really, in any other from software game, I feel like it's better. Maybe with the exception of uh, Sekiro. Because that game isn't really atmospheric, necessarily. Or maybe it is. I guess, I guess it is. Now that I think about some areas, yeah, it is. I was thinking about like the early start of the game, which isn't that atmospheric, but the rest is actually definitely. I don't know. It's just, Elden Ring feels like much more uh, generic high fantasy, kind of. Mixed with dark fantasy as well. Because like, some, like, to be fair, like the locations and the visuals, they're very much high fantasy, but like, uh, there's some aspects which are dark fantasy. Like this, this for example, Kaylee is very much like more dark fantasy than high fantasy. But it still has like a bit of high fantasy mixed into it. It's much more generic. Just that's just how it feels like to me, though. To be fair, it, it, it depends on the person. It depends on the person. But that's not really a criticism of the game. The only thing I actually criticize is the open world. That's a, that's an actual criticism for me. But like the atmosphere, no. That's that's just that just depends on the person. I 
I do really feel like this game just like overshot, overshot, not overshot. Uh, this game tried to, like, it was too ambitious, I feel like. They, they tried to, uh, like, do too many things at once. Like, it tried to, it tried to implement combat into the Souls, for, or uh, it, it tried to implement um, stealth into the Souls formula. It tried to implement more verticality, like it, there isn't Sekiro, into the Souls formula. Because this is very much a Souls game. This is not like uh, a completely different game to like Dark Souls. It's basically just Dark Souls, but open world. And they basically just try to mix in a bunch of elements from their other games. Like, for example, the combat is, is like, basically, this is like Dark Souls with the combat of, of, of Bloodborne done more poorly than Bloodborne. Uh, with um, an open world that's, again, not done too well. With the... Uh, verticality added from Sekiro which because Dark Souls doesn't have that too much verticality you know this game has much more verticality compared to Dark Souls um, so they clearly took inspiration from, from their own game Sekiro for that one uh, what else was I gonna say wait, wait, I feel like I had something else as well in my mind but now it's kind of gone all right they tried to add sneaking from Sekiro as well and sneaking not from not sneaking from Sekiro they tried to add uh, sneaking because of Sekiro obviously they just implement kind of that mechanic into the game which again just is underused like it isn't really used at all and it doesn't really work too well either and like with bosses you can't really use it at all and with enemies I mean it's kind of pointless you can just kill them normally and it's more more effective than sneaking up on them especially considering how much uh, uh, this game spams enemies which is a thing taken from Dark Souls 2 by the way definitely like some of the enemy placement <laughs> and the the just the amount of enemies that they spam in some of the enemy design that's clearly dark souls 2 inspired which i, I feel like they took the worst part of dark souls 2 honestly from that game which is the uh, just the enemy spam but to be fair that's all like late game criticism not really early game i feel like early game this a lot of the criticisms don't really count you get to see the game's flaws or uh, late game i feel like more but still 9 out of 10 game it's great i love it i love it regardless because the things it did right it did it did really good I just, I just, I just don't think it's a masterpiece because I feel like, for me, for me at least, a masterpiece is a game that does everything it sets out to do. Elden Ring, you cannot. I feel like you cannot even argue that like, Elden Ring did not do that because Elden Ring set out to do too many things, like the, the things that I named before, for example, like just like you know, being being Dark Souls but more aggressive, open world, with sneaking, with more verticality. You know, I feel like the things that it got right was definitely like just difficulty build variation uh, a lot of the boss designs i feel like are great uh what else i feel like the, the, uh what else let me check uh, it's kind of uh, obviously the game is beautiful the game is beautiful obviously graphically it's amazing what else i mean you've heard like these things that said a thousand times uh before so it's kind of always hard, to, for, hard for me to think of like uh, positive things to say about this game because it's been like said already like two billion times. Like every single person just pairs the same thing. Which is why I try to like actually find things to criticize because nobody seems to be doing that. At least besides people who like are just straight up brain dead and just shit on the game for like things that it doesn't even deserve shit for. Like the game is so hard. Uh, to not Like you can't even dodge the bosses. Like you can't dodge most of the attacks. Come on, be fair. Like people really do like so, like there's really like no middle ground really for, it seems to me, like that's missing from Elden Ring kind of criticism the, like some kind of middle ground saying like yeah the game is fantastic but it has flaws, like nobody seems to be really saying that everyone says like yeah the game's either like shit, or the game's a, a flawless masterpiece. What do you think about Nocron? That's the area where you go for Ronnie's quest line, right? I mean it's fine, it's fine. It's not bad. It's not great. I don't really remember anything specific from it, really. I guess the Mimic tier. Was, was that in Nocron even, or was that some other area? I just They just all kind of mixed. All the underground areas kind of are mixed together in my mind. They, they're all kind of the same. They're not really diverse enough from each other. I guess there are exceptions, but... like the, the, There's like three areas which are basically the same. Okay, time for Rodan. I bet I can do this first try. I bet I can do this first try. Although Rodan is my favorite boss, in case you were wondering. I fucking love him. He's such a good boss. He's, I think he's definitely the best best boss this game has to uh, has to offer. Like, I know people love Melania, but like, honestly, Melania is just too flawed to be like the best boss. I mean, for me. Like, the waterfall really holds her back. Like, if it was just, like, slightly better designed. But, like, the waterfall really is unfair at times. Depending on, like, how close you are to the attack, like... 
dodging it just becomes like near impossible. Definitely improbable that you will dodge. At the very least. It's, not, it's obviously not completely impossible, it's been done, but like, I haven't seen a, a single like average player pull it off. Everyone's just like a like a on ball tier player who can like dodge it at close range. Which obviously you can't really say that and then be like, yeah, the move isn't a problem because I can dodge it and I'm in the top 1% players. Like, I don't think you can't, buddy. I don't think you can in that point. Like in that uh, situation. At least in my opinion. Don't want to like invalidate people's opinions who are like godly at, at this game, but you know, if you're going to criticize like... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? If you can't criticize... Or if you're gonna like criticize like uh, uh, moves that everyone calls bullshit, and, like, and you're like a top tier player, and you say it's not bullshit, it doesn't really mean much because obviously, obviously it's gonna not be bullshit for you because you're really good at the game. You really can't make a mistake. The problem is with the waterfowl. Whenever you're like close to it, dude, it's just like it, it feels like it's actually just like impossible. Like I haven't been able to pull it off a single time, and I've fought Millennium multiple times. Like I can dodge waterfowl fine as long as I have distance. If I'm like really close to her, like it's it's actually next to impossible. Yeah, go back. As I said, first try. Goodbye. No, what? I love. I hate how the horse dies. Like, come on, don't kill the horse. Like, I'm Radon, whatever, kill him. Who cares? Not the horse, man. Not the fucking donkey horse. Come on. That's not funny. That's sad. Prepare to cry. Radon's donkey. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, with Melania Waterfall, just like, it really depends on the uh, circumstances you're in. It feels luck based because, you know, it, like, the, like, with Melania, you have to be aggressive. But the issue is if you're aggressive, you're probably going to be close to her. Meaning, if she, if you're like in the middle of an attack and she just like randomly decides to do Waterfowl, guess what? 99% of the time, Again, if you're not in the 1% of players who just got you at this game, you will just get fucked. You will either die, or at the very least, you will take a lot of damage, and she will recover all the damage you've dealt to her over the last 5 minutes. Well, not 5 minutes, but like, I don't know, 1 minute, maybe less. But it's still a lot of damage, relatively. So it's kind of frustrating just to like have a bullshit-ass move, just like undo all of your efforts thus far. Okay. Um... Let me check the next level. Okay, so we're gonna go for Morgoth next. What does he say? 100 to 110. I'll go to... He says 100 to 110. I'm up level 45, bro. Like, what is... What is for... Wait, what does he say for the Radon? By the way, I'm reading, like, a Reddit guy. Who said... Who said, like... Who says the levels. Yeah. Radon's 60 to 70. I beat him at 45. 60 to 70 is absurd. You don't need to be that high. High level. Uh, I think I'm just gonna... For Morgoth, I feel like I just want more... HP or HP. Yeah. Bigger. I think I'll just go straight to 60. I'd probably go to like level 90 probably for Morgoth, or 80, 90? Because he says like 100 to 110, so I think I think a 90 should be like more than fine. Hey man, I gotta go, keep up the good work, bro. Thanks for being here, Sammy. See you later. Okay, I think I just level up Dexterity and Strength probably like both to 20. So if I need, I need Dexterity and Strength both for, uh, or do I? Wait, 69. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, this is with strength. Yeah, dexterity. This is not even good with dexterity. Why not even level up dexterity? That sucks. I, I should have just gone for strength. Now I wasted fucking. I wasted precious levels. What the hell? What about the X? Yeah, with strength. Fuck. I just wasted points in, by putting it into dexterity. That's such a shame. I mean, I could go respec, I guess. I, I can go respec. In fact, I'll go respec right now. I don't want to waste points on dexterity. Church of the Cuck. Church of the Cuck? What? Wait. Oh no, I didn't unlock the Renala fucking bonfire. Fuck's sake. I need to run run back to it then. That's so annoying. And what, what was I say? We were gonna do Morgad and then right, then Moog directly after, because it fits, it fits, you know. Kill the brothers first. <laughs> Uh, okay. Wait. Oh. Wait, I did not unlock a single... No, this has to be it, right? Surely. This has to be it. 
It is, it is. Okay. Hmm. I don't like it where there's like a lot of fog. I think that the weather is the dynamic even in the uh, rail carrier. This, this seems to be a lot more fog this time around. Maybe I'm high. Maybe I'm just imagining things. And it seems to be like darker. I don't know. I think I think it's definitely night right outside, which is why this is happening. Maybe. I don't know. How much night do I need minimum? Uh, 15 decks, good to know. Right, so I'll just keep my stats, everything the same except for decks. I'll go to 15 and I'll put the rest in strength. I wonder how this would look with Kratos. Wait, not this. Oh shit. Um, or is it? Hmm. Mm -mm. This one? And that looks more like his other version again. With the, it fits for the. Ragnarok version, but not not the normal one. Give give rebirth, give rebirth, please. All right, I got a bigger sixty right away. Cause goddamn, I love vigor, bro. I love vigor, vigor. Was it fifteen? I think it was fifteen, and then sixteen faith. And then, I think I got endurance actually 15. I do want a bit of endurance just so I can attack more consistently. That seems fine. And then, I guess I'll just go level up strength, I guess, a bit. Just so I do a bit, a bit more damage, a bit more damage. Because it's more good. Like, at this point in the game, I just can't afford to, like, skimp. Like, it's actually going to be hard no matter what level I'm at. Okay, strength, I'm going to go to, like, 20, I guess. Or, wait... 326? Wait. I want to level up to 90 at least. I'm not going to follow the guide perfectly, the Reddit guy. But I got to follow him kind of ish. You got to probably do like minus 10 levels for whatever the fuck he says is minimum recommended. Because I feel like he's a bit, he's capping a bit. Like it's definitely like uh, less, less necessary than he thinks. The levels at least the amount, the amount of levels that you need to have for each boss just use one that should be enough right enough enough it is okay there we go that's fine that's fine uh what now right more gut more gut more gut and then after more gut we'll do all right Fucking forgot about this. We said we were gonna do old, old bitch. But I guess I defeat. I'll, I'll defeat. Uh, what's his name? What's his fucking name. Uh, Godfrey, the ghost of Godfrey, the the piss version of Godfrey. I'm gonna beat him because he's gonna be our stand-in for Zeus, and then we're gonna switch to the Ragnar Ragnarok version of Kratos. Well, not the. I guess not the Ragnarok, but the the 2016 version. The Ragnarok version has like a cape. I'm pretty sure and shit, like like a fur coat because it's cold. Actually, I might switch to that as well. We could do that maybe as well. I right, definitely, definitely, we could do that. I, mean, I could do that after uh, after Fair Missoula, maybe. Fair enough, nothing would change much. I guess he does have a spear, doesn't he? He also has a spear in one of the later games, or in later games, in Ragnarok. He also has like a spear. Maybe I could use a spear as well. But it's not exactly one of his most recognizable weapons, so I probably won't. I don't think a lot of people think of this fucking spear. I really think of, uh... Uh, what's his name? Fuck, how did I forget his name? Kratos. I mean, I say how I forget his name, it's because I'm thinking about a lot of things at once. Which I should probably stop doing. Something beneath my, beneath, between my teeth. Some fucking meat that I ate uh, earlier, probably. Probably just some meat that I ate. Okay. 
We just this way. Then we beat the dragon, draconic tree sentinel. Then go beat piss Godfrey, and then we can switch to the the old bastard Kratos, the old and grumpy version. We switch from yell to to fucking. Uh, it was not sure what I named the character. Yeah, yells. I'm gonna change the name as well. It's not gonna be yells. It's gonna be uh, grunts. Grunts. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. And she's just making those fucking noises, and that's it. Boy. All right, I just real. All right, after I, I think I'll, I think I'll do another funny thingy. Uh, after we switch, I got a great idea. Watch this. Watch this. After we switch, I let you just got this now. After we switch to the to the 2018 version of God of the God of War, the new God of War, to old Kratos, then I think we can just go in the what's this? Huh? Sleeping arrow puppet. I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking of her, Latena. And maybe I could, we could do her as well. Dolores, maybe we could do Dolores as well. Let me, let me check how Dolores looks. Are we ever someone here? Wait, what? She should be, what? Okay. Should be here, wait. Uh, if she has a bow, an actual bow, then yeah, we can do her. What the fuck is happening? What's happening? What's happening? What the fuck? She just rains down from the fucking sky. Insane. I guess I'll try with both. Obviously, I prefer like a movie than a stationary one. Well, Atreus is definitely not stationary, bro. Fucking moving around all the time. That was a bit of a fucking jump scare. Fucking hell. How are sword still on fire if it rain? I do not understand. Okay. What's the... Oh, my stamina, I just realized. I was like, what's happening? Why is my controller like reacting? It's because I don't have any fucking stamina. Heal. He's doing a lot of damage, it's worrying. Fuck's sake, man, come on. Be nice. Be neat and nice, please. Uh, let, me, let me summon this guy just, just, just to check. That, that's gonna be our boy, I think. That's gonna be our boy. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be our boy. 100%. We're gonna even put enemies to sleep with how boring his fucking character is. And he doesn't even take that much damage, that's good. I'm pretty sure... What's her name? The woman. The other woman. Uh, she takes a lot of uh, damage, I'm pretty sure, which is what makes her kind of unviable. Come on, just bro. I started healing way before you even started the attack. Come on, that's my problem, right? Like sometimes enemies just start healing like way too early. What? I was literally asleep, bro. I was literally asleep. Come on. Mind you, this is this is not canon what we're doing right now because uh, you know, boy isn't alive yet. Boy isn't alive yet. This is just a test run. Or just to see if I should use him or him or the other woman as a stand-in for boy or her I guess or another woman what are the only two archers in this game women I can I get it or at least archers that you can summon I shouldn't assume before checking but yeah I think so oh nah there's red main knight oh god no I think British it's a woman as well is there any other like uh Bow dudes that we can summon. That's definitely not boy. That's definitely not boy. I'm pretty sure boy isn't fucking huge and muscu muscular, so I can't summon him. What's that? Oh, page. I mean, that could fit, but he uses a sword as well, and boy doesn't use a sword. From my knowledge, at least. Yeah, I don't think there's anything better. I, I guess it fits, you know. He's putting, he's putting the bosses to sleep with how boring his character is. Pretty fair, pretty fair. Okay, level 90, yeah, that's fine. 
Well, let's go straight for the Piss Ghost. And then we can finally switch over our build to the Leviathan Axe. Then I actually probably won't use the Chaos Blades again, at least not until like Millennia, maybe. We'll see. I guess maybe we could do like one Leviathan, but uh, uh, one, en one enemy slash boss with the. Uh, why do I say slash boss? One boss with Leviathan X and then one boss with Blades of Chaos. We'll see. And which boss would be like bad with for Leviathan X? I'm trying to like, think. I don't think there's a single one. But I definitely know which which boss would not be good for Leviathan or or for uh, Blades of Chaos. That's what I know. It's the fucking the Fire Giant. It's definitely not good for Blades of Chaos. So I think for that one I'm 100% using Leviathan Axe. What axe are you gonna use? I'm gonna use the fucking, what's it called? The Highlander Axe. I think it looks the most similar. Right, I'll show you for a sec, uh, in a second. Bye bye woman. Also welcome to the stream, uh, Andre. Right, I'll show you. Uh, we're gonna be using this axe. The Heavy Highlander Axe. I think it just looks the most similar to the axe. I don't, I don't think there's any other axe that looks as similar. Maybe this one, but that one's too big. Yeah, Th these ones are actually just too big. I feel like that one's the most accurate. The rest, the rest just don't seem very accurate because none of them have like wooden wooden grips. We'll use ice as ash war. Yes, I believe this is the, I, I, from if, what I remember when playing the game. I'm pretty sure he literally has like this ability, like pretty much exactly the same. Uh, to be fair, I don't think he creates a mist. I think he like sends out a, a slash of ice, but after that, I'm pretty sure his uh, a weapon gets infused with ice in the game. Like it also looks like this to infuse with ice, ice. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. I think. I think that makes sense. And then obviously the fucking blades of chaos. I mean, there's no other pick in the game except for that for the build. I guess I mean I guess there maybe is. I did aren't there like earlier blades of chaos like like not even on fire? I guess that that would make this fit more. Uh, we're doing the fire variant. They're more iconic. And besides, now it's a bit too late. Anyways, we fucking we're pretty much done using him. Oh, depends, I guess. We might switch back to him. If uh, I get bored of the Highlander Axe, but I don't think I will. I'm kind of bored of the fucking Blades of Chaos already, already not gonna lie. It's pretty simple. You just go in you know, there, jump attack, jump attack, jump attack. I don't know what is it with Curved Swords, but I, I, just, I just have to go for jump attacks. I just have to. There's something in my blood that's forcing it. Like, it's like the, the when, I, when my, my first playthrough and did a Bleed build accidentally, making the game a fucking cakewalk. I accidentally cheat. I accidentally cheese the game when I fucking first played it. I still have like trauma from that, and now I just like I can't like I'm permanently scarred. I have to like do jumping attacks whenever I play with curved uh, curved swords. It's just stuck in my DNA now from my from that first first uh, playthrough. Are you going to use the big sword of hope? Wait, which one do you mean? You mean to like represent the 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 Zeus blade that he has? Like I, I don't think I'm gonna be using any of those. Although probably I should have probably done that, but I feel like that would have been a bit, a little bit too much weapon variety. I think I'm just gonna be using this and the uh, Leviathan axe for the, for the what you call it, for the Kratos build. I also want to leave like options open for other builds, you know. So I don't want to just use a bunch of weapons on one character. I, I was initially going to, but then I was like, that would not be good. <laughs> it's in your blood. <laughs> Please don't! <laughs> okay, good. Now let's go beat fucking Piss Godfrey and then we can switch. And then how many bosses do we have after that? We have uh, Morgoth, Moog, Fire Giant, Faramazula, which is three bosses. Then we have fucking, what's it called? Ashen Capital, which is also three bosses. I guess you can count Elden Beast as his own boss, honestly. And then we have Melania at the end and then we're done. And then tomorrow we're doing probably, uh, probably man with no name build. We're probably gonna do that one. So basically just like crossbow build. No, fuck off! You need to stop. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah like cro we're gonna do like f to represent the gun. The man with no name is the fucking guy from the, uh, what's it called? From the good, the bad, and the ugly movie. And also, just in general, the, the dollars uh, trilogy for a handful of dollars and all that shit. Um, 
to represent the gun, I'm just gonna use like a, a crossbow. Like, I'm pretty sure like the magic crossbow because it's the fastest to reload. Or you can reload it one handed. So I figured it was kind of like neat. And then uh, also explosive bolts to represent the bullets. I, I initially wanted to do repeating uh, crossbow. What's called repeating? As you call, I think it's called a repeating crossbow. That's what I wanted to do initially for the build. But I was like, I mean, I'm already using it for my Alucard build, and you know that's kind of also fits just more semi-automatic pistols in general, not revolvers. I feel like for revolvers, revolvers, it fit, revolvers, it fits more to actually have to reload bef between uh, every shot. At least when the reload animation is that quick. And we'll see that we'll see. Aside from that, I have like the Luke, Luke Skywalker build planned, and then. One more, I think. Which which one was I gonna do again? I forget. Oh no, no, that that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. So this week is gonna be. I think tomorrow is gonna be the the, the build that I just mentioned, and then Luke Skywalker. You have an Alucard build? Yes, I do. I mean, uh, it depends on which one you mean. I have an Alucard build for Alucard from the anime Helsing, not not for the one from Castlevania, but I will do that one as well eventually. Same with uh, what's his name, Belmont. Okay, time to face Zeus. The Elden Ring equivalent of Zeus. Pissed version of Godfrey. Zeus! Zeus! Fuck, I, I should have just conserved my stamina. I could have done this no hit. No, I couldn't have. I would have gotten hit there anyways. Fuck, I actually need to conserve my stamina, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I need to just not attack him for a little bit. Fuck, I actually need to fucking stop. I'm getting so greedy, dude. I'm playing so dumb. Goodbye. Goodbye. Zeus! Perfect. We killed Zeus. That's the first three games over with, I guess. Time to fucking switch builds. Time to go for old old bastard. Old grumpy ass Kratos. And also we can use boy. We have the archer down there. As a spirit ash. We're gonna use boy definitely. We have to. The best thing is... I'm not sure if you were here when I said it. The best thing is he puts enemies to sleep. Just like he did to me whenever I played the game. Okay, do I have the whole thing? Yeah, I do have it here. There we go. There we go. I, th I think that's pretty accurate for, for old Kratos. It looks a bit odd. I feel like I could have made it a bit better, but I I'm too lazy to do it now. And then instead of yells, we're gonna have... Grunts. Perfect. Doesn't yell anymore, he just grunts. <clears throat> okay, perfect. And then we switch over to the fucking heavy Highlander axe. There we go. And we're using it one-handed, because I'm pretty sure, from what I remember in the game, he pretty much only uses it one-handed. And then obviously we need the shield as well, because he does have the shield. Where's the shield? A nice round one that will... It's literally just for decoration, I will never use it. I will most likely never use it. Yeah, I saw boy. And actually he fits. He kind of does, yeah, he kind of does. Especially the fact that he puts people to sleep. And that's especially accurate. Yeah, I say if we just go for this metal shield, maybe. Oh no, it's a golden shield, isn't it? Yeah, it's a golden shield. I remember now. Oh, yeah, I think we should just say we go for the round golden shield. I don't think there's anyone, any other one that fits better. Yeah, I think we'll just go for this one. I don't plan on using it anyways. To be fair, for, to block at all, <laughs> mainly because it, it it blocks out 78% of damage. And besides, I don't like blocking too much. To be fair, either way. So I don't think I'll be blocking. I think I'll just have it in the hand, you know, just for fun. And then to switch the outfit real quick to make it more Norse. Right, that's not the one. I'm just checking in this one out. Um, where's the thingy that he wears? Normally, this doesn't really fit. This doesn't really fit. I, I want to check like for the Ragnarok version. Like, uh, the we can get the Ragnarok drip after we beat Morgoth for a little while while we're in the snowy area. And that could be, that could be good. Fuck off, dude. Did I talk to you? Did I talk to you? No, I didn't. Fuck off, shut up. I hate that guy. He speaks to me all the time. I was thinking about the fact that boys are usually usually have female uh, voice actresses. 
Yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird that he doesn't, honestly. That's kind of odd. Because most, most of them do, especially like in anime, especially in anime. Like a fuck ton. Okay, uh, I need to fucking switch from this because I've had this stamina and poise, which I don't even know why I put it here. Uh, when this fits much more. Restores HP when near death, that fits way more. And then, uh, probably this one just to encourage, there we go, that, that actually fits way more with his character. We're so HP with near death, you know, Baldur fight, when he, whenever he fucking just goes, and then just fucking regens all of his HP, and blood disappears for some reason. And then we have the, this one to just encourage combos, since, you know, God of War, combos. Self-explanatory, really. Okay. I think that's gonna be the drip for the Ragnarok drip, I'm pretty sure. It doesn't really look that good, honestly. <laughs> maybe maybe we won't use the Ragnarok drip after all. The Ragnarok drip. Or is there any other one that we could do which can represent it better? I don't think so. You have the hero shield if you want a bigger one. Uh, I'm missing it. Was it like here? I'm not see. I don't see any golden. Uh, oh, this one's golden. But nah, that nah, I don't want that big. That's the same. But like these ones aren't really golden, so that's a problem. Cause like the shield is originally golden, and from what I remember, and it's round as well. Why do I have so many of these? Ah, oh, right, cause I was farming that fucking thing. Nice. Okay. Now I think I'll just stick to this one. I don't know the name. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just want to stick to the golden ones. I'm not seeing any golden ones that are round, necessarily. Because the shield from the original game, I believe, was round. So I think this should be fine. Oh, wait. Maybe... Oh, to be fair, you can, like, put different skins on it, can't you? In the game. Maybe we could do one of these. Yeah, I'll, I'll do one of these. How, how's that? How's that? I'll do that. That one. It, it fits also because there's fur around it and stuff. I'm pretty sure there's different skins that you can give the shield. So we'll just use this, I guess. Not that it matters anyways, we're not gonna block, as I said. <laughs> I highly doubt I'm going to. I'm gonna need to do it for the link run, though. Uh, that one I'll definitely have to do. And then for this, we'll just have these... Where are they? Bandages. That one? That's the one you meant? Black leather one. Check the other ones a little bit. Yeah, this one doesn't... I prefer the one that is, like, low. You know, I, prefer, I prefer ones that drop it down low. Okay. Uh, I say we go straight for... Earth Tree Sanctuary. We go straight for Morgoth. And we kick his fucking ass. We kick Morgoth's ass. I need, to, I need to also remove the skill from the shield so I can actually use the... The axe one. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. I need to remove the skill. So I don't want to parry either. So I can use it, so I can do that right away. Yeah, that's good. I think that's good. Does that actually block 100%? No. Does it, do any of them? Do any of the round shields? You know what's fucking lame? Well, how come only the, the only ones to block 100% are these shields? Like the ones that are like not shaped round. Okay, to be fair, there's this one. And that one does, but like that's the only like exception pretty much. The rest of these aren't really round. And to be fair, not, neither is this one. This one's like more oval. Okay, there we go. Anyways, let's go and... Okay, we can remove this now, though. I don't think... Uh, or I guess, again, I guess he does have the Spartan Rage still, even in the second... Second version of the games. Where he's fucking an old bastard. I know I said second version, I could just say newer games. Okie dokie. Let's fucking go. How much damage is it doing? 400? That seems so low, what the fuck? Wait, maybe it's not low. That's so low, what the fuck? That is actually so I expected way higher damage, what the hell? Okay, I might be, I might be, uh... I might be leveling up to level 100 anyways, to recommend it from that guy. Because I feel like with double-handed weapons, it's you kind of automatically do more damage, which is why I thought I didn't have to be a higher level. Maybe he was right. The Reddit, the Reddit guy was right. I need to actually fucking have more strength. I think I'll just put it to 40, uh, 36, I guess. Should be fine. 
I saw someone use castles with Warcry for the Spartan Rage. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Maybe I could do that, maybe I could do that. Finish off the enemies like that. That could be cool. Like when the enemy gets low, n near low HP, I, I do Spartan Rage. And I beat them with that. That's a good idea. Uh, let me grab the... Castus, where is it? Just the normal ones. We're not a pussy. We don't do bleed. Uh, and then what was it again? War Cry. I mean, War Cry. I could probably use like a Braggart's Roar. That would probably be better than War Cry. On the upgraded version. Uh, thanks for the suggestion. Though. That's actually a really good idea. Is there anything? Maybe that could be even better. Is there anything that gives you like a boost? No, I think that's the best one. Let me check how it looks. Uh, yoink. Actually, you know, I'm probably gonna remove the shield entirely. It's not necessary. If you're not gonna use it at all, then there's no point. I'm gonna go for... Where is it? I'm definitely not gonna be switching between the shield and the thing. If I just put this on the offhand... Fuck's sake. If I put it, the thing on the offhand, I'm, not, I'm probably never gonna use it. So there we go. Makes sense. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. I like that. If only you could put the, put the, wait, is there a better weapon that I can like maybe put on the back? I don't think there is. I think everything else kind of looks, yeah, definitely not these. I mean, this one's kind of, kind of, but not really. Yeah, again, like, I don't like these moves. Like, the, I feel like the animations also need to fit. And he does swing from like side to side mostly, you know, not, not vertically. So this fits way better. That still works. That's good. Okay, let's go. I don't care about trapping. Goodbye. Great. Fuck's sake, I really need to stop dodging so early. I'm actually an idiot. What am I doing? I'm not playing. I'm not playing the game. I'm literally just fucking standing there and doing nothing. There we go. Doink! You cough up dust, old man. Wait, what can I use, boy? I can't summon for this fight? Wait, I can't summon from this. Oh, I, I think I just don't have enough FP. That's a shame. No, not happening, buddy. What? Isn't this pretty much real healing? Pretty sure this. Oh, did I heal? Oh, no, I already healed twice, I think. No! Holy shit, I, I barely missed that. Come on, dude, 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 dude. Yes, that's, the, that's literally the weakest move he has. It's so easy to... Okay. You ready? You ready? Roar! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm actually gonna die. No, stop! Stop! Okay, I need, I need, I need, yes. We'll do, we'll do. Goodbye. Wait, fuck off. Roar! Get fucked! Yeah, there we go. We got him, we got them, we got him with the Spartan Rage. Very good. Very good. Zeus! <laughs> we got him. Easy Morgat clap. Easy Morgat clap. Noise. Hello? Ah. I was like, oh, I, th I thought for some reason I had a dialogue option or something. Probably switch the Kratos image. Wait, let me switch the Kratos image to update that we have changed indeed from the from old boy Kratos to oh, old boy Kratos, from a uh, young boy Kratos to old boy Kratos. Just do one of these, maybe maybe a close up like that. That do. 
<laughs> Wait, I need to like uh, expand it a bit. Then lower it like that, put it in the corner, lower it some more so it fits perfectly. That's pretty much perfect. And then a little bit of that. Let's check. Is it is it good? It's good. That's good. That's good. There we go. We got we we, up, we upgraded. We're the new Kratos now. Very nice. Touch touch grass. Oh yeah, perfectly balanced. As all things should be. As all things should be. I wish I could just like um, what I wanted to do was remove the background from the thing and then like place it actually in the rune slot. So it looks like we actually have the him like as a rune, but I can't do that. Unfortunately, it's not plausible. First, because you can't even fucking see him then, because he's so small. And second, because uh, just because I can't make it transparent, because I would have to download the image and then post the Im place the image in the thing, and then the image would also have to be transparent, which is just a pain in the ass. Too much work. Too much work. I don't get paid for this shit. Too much work. Uh, right. Now comes boring part. Boring part two. <laughs> boring part part two. We need to go grab some more of the, what's it called, medallions. The ones for the Melania's arena, because we're going to go fight Moog first. I think it's only, it only fits. It only makes sense to fight Moog first. Because, you know, we just beat his... Beat, beat his blah, 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 blah. We just beat his bro, so it makes sense to go kick his ass, ass next. That was surprisingly easy. I think I'll just stay at this level. What level? 98. Oh, wait, oh, 98? What? That's disgusting. What the fuck? What are... No, it needs to be 100. It needs to be 100. Strength 36. That's fine. Don't need any more. Let's go. I'll just... I'll sheath the axe. While I'm walking about. No point in... Uh, in, in, in waving that thing around. For no reason. I just I just made him look fat more, more than muscular. Why is his arm so thin? I feel like I made him thicker. It's not. Don't rip. I can't wait for Melania. I have to be fair, every single one of these runs I can't wait for Melania because I'm actually enjoying fighting her more and more the more I fight her. Surprisingly enough, I, I mean, I, I th I'm thinking Radagon, Radagon. I think Radon might be slowly getting replaced as my favorite boss. I think it might be Melania actually now. Like lore-wise, definitely Radagon. I hate Melania lore-wise. Radagon, Radon. Um, I, I hate Melania lore-wise because he's just a pussy in the lore. He's just like, I lose fight. Uh, I, I, I blow myself up. Nuclear bomb time. Self-destruction. Melania, you self-destruct. Literally, just what a pussy, dude. Lore-wise, lore-wise. You know, Radagon, the Giga Chat, holding up the stars even when he's fucking in, literally insane. Like, his brain doesn't even work properly, and he's still holding the stars up. What a Giga Chat. But yeah, of course. Fuck off, bitch. Give me your fucking HP. Oh, why do I have the... Oh, shit, I just realized. Wait a second. Are we ever gonna get attacked by magic, really? Not really, really. Or do I need this even? I definitely need. I definitely need that. I do not. I want physical protection. Uh, right. Uh, what was I say? Right. For the Spartan Rage. Right. I got a bad idea. Look at this. Wait. Where is it? For the Spartan Rage. I'm pretty sure this boosts the same thing. This boosts the uh, the thing that we're using for Spartan Rage. So we'll do that. Successive attacks for storage HP. To be fair, at this. I'm pretty sure this. At this point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch that out for the magic protection one because I feel like, from what I remember in God of War 2018, and I'm not sure probably in Ragnarok as well. I haven't played Ragnarok yet though because it's not out on uh, PC. Uh, I'm pretty sure you don't regen HP by like just kicking enemies' asses. I'm pretty sure. I think right. That's not a thing, right? How do you regen HP in that game? I forget already. Is it just damaging enemies? Because if so, then I need to keep that. I kind of forget. I know in the original you would like damage enemies, you would get like the orbs, the red orbs that you would absorb. And from a, was it not? It was from a, 
those were like XP orbs or something from having sex with those like women. Yeah, what was it in the second game, I believe? <laughs> you just get to have like sex with a bunch of fucking women. You get like experience or red orbs. I forgot which one it was. So funny though, so funny. What a great, what a great mechanic. What a great game mechanic. Really more games should have something like it. Man, I, I really hope the first video turns out well. Oh, the first video. The first video of one of these runs that we're making right now. I'm making the Millennium one. I really hope it fucking turns out well. I'm not gonna edit it too much because I, I, I'm just gonna basically like look at how Scumnut and uh, Bushy and what's the other guy's name? Uh, Aggie, Aggie something? How they do it. I'm gonna try and do something similar. Not the same, obviously, but something similar. Because like clearly their style works, so I'm gonna try and make it in their style as well. Though to be fair, my videos are already like way better because actually at least you know, I at least talk and make jokes. To be fair, Scumna does that too. Scumna's great, but like the the other two, not really. They don't really make any fucking funny jokes or anything. Kind of just like a basically factual, not to shit on them or anything. I mean, clearly they make better content than me currently. Consider I'm making literally no content pretty much. Cause I, I don't know, maybe I will like, I, I know the one, one thing that I want to do is I want to make uh, subtitles for the entire, I think it's gonna be like an hour long video. I want to make subtitles pop on screen for the entire thing. Like TikTok ones, you know, animated and, and stuff. Just because just I think it makes the video way better. Like having actual subtitles. At the very least, I'll include them for like anything that's actually like funny, like to make to make it even more funny or, or shit that's like not really funny, but if I add subtitles, then it's funny. You know what I mean? I might just add it in general for the entire thing. To be fair, that's also quite possible. We'll see. We'll see. I need to, exp I'm, I need to experiment with videos, videos a bit. Maybe I'll try with subtitles, without, you know, with with like more editing, with less editing, just to see what people enjoy. And then I'm gonna put like, uh, I'm not gonna put in a make of a... I have like a Slopnik channel that's empty right now, it doesn't serve any purpose. I'm probably gonna use that channel to upload some of the stuff that I think was interesting, but doesn't fit into the video, aka okay, isn't related to the run, you know what I mean? Or isn't just like a random one bit joke that shows up. If I have like a rant about something, for example, I just put it on that channel instead. Except none of that can be monetized because it's very, very small. Well, you need to find your own way, and there's nothing wrong on taking inspiration. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because I, I feel like I feel like if you go into YouTube like completely blind and you're just doing things on your own without looking at your competition at all, that's kind of a dumb way to do YouTube. I feel like, because like you're you're definitely not gonna like unless you're like super super talented, which I mean if you if you think if you think that yourself that you're like really really fucking talented, I'm just like okay, I just I just just go in, in and do it myself, and I'll do it the best that I can do it. It's like that's kind of. Uh, it's not really the smartest way to go about things. And it's kind of egotistical to think that you could do it better than other people, you know? So I, I tend to just like look at other, what other people do instead and just be like, okay, so this and this works. I think I can do this. This and this I don't want to do, so I'm not going to do that. For example, um, I think it even says, it even says on my uh, thingy, on my... Uh, I re you, really, you can really tell I'm salty about that shit. Um, the fucking... My like about page says channel runs with personality, right? Because I literally fucking see like challenges and they're like, okay, well, Scum Knight is the exception, fair enough. But like most other people who do like challenges, they're like just like rely on like, okay, extreme challenge and that's it. They don't really have like anything, any of their personality in the actual thing. Like Bush is the biggest offender for this, I feel like. Like I, 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 I cannot watch a single one of his videos or streams, they're so boring. Because he's very technical and like the only thing impressive really about, about it, I feel like is the challenges which he's doing, which, that he's doing, which fair enough, you know. Doing like a challenge, like I don't know, Eldering, but I don't know, I uh, let me think about. But uh, every enemy is Melania, stuff like that. I think that, that uh, Scumna did that one, except his in his case it was like really short and funny. Meanwhile, you know I think Bushy did something similar, and his was just like one hour long, because obviously it gets more views and stuff, and it does well if people watch it, watch the whole thing. 
I don't know, I just, uh, Bushy specifically, goddamn dude, that, guy, that guy's boring as shit. Like, the challenge runs, in my opinion, that's what carries his channel. Just the, like, insanity of the challenge, just like challenge runs being like, you know, holy shit, this is difficult, can he, re can he really do this? Which he can, he's talented at video games. At, at least at Elden Ring. I, however, suck ass, so I have to compromise by, like, actually trying to, like, uh, make you guys like me through my personality. So I'm kind of gonna try and uh, try and do that, I think. So the videos won't be exactly like the, the the millennial run, for example. I can't just make it like me fighting bosses because that's gonna be super boring. Because I'm I, even when I fight bosses, you'll notice I talk about different topics and shit. So uh, I, there's definitely not gonna be that. It's definitely gonna be a bit more personal than most other types of videos. Aka, I'm actually talking to, you know, talking about stuff. Obviously, most of the time related to the game, but sometimes not. Sometimes just some random shit. I think I'll be more like that. I'll definitely like try to exclude like things that are completely non-relevant at all. Like I think like I, while I was editing this fucking like video, I was like there was one bit which I was like, what the fuck? There's no way this can make it into the video. This makes no sense. Like it's it's an interesting bit, right? But it's um, it cannot make it into the video because there's nothing. It's such a random thing that that comes out of nowhere. I was basically talking about like I basically like started biting my own uh, like dead skin in my cheeks because like I get it built up and sometimes so I just fucking you know you ain't it. I, I feel like most people do that share shit surely. Um, so t I started talking about like cannibalism, how like, isn't like technically everyone cannibalism? I feel like every single person in the world like ate their own skin at some point. Like, all the, you know, off the fucking like finger or something like that. You know, nobody's like spits it out really, like very few people I would say spit it out. But I feel like most people just like, well, whatever, I fucking swallow it, who gives a shit what's gonna happen? Uh, so I like had a bit of a rant about like cannibalism, like, aren't any of us cannibals? Uh, I feel like all of us are cannibals, aren't they? Aren't we? Stuff like that. So that just doesn't fit in the video at all. Those kind of thing I, things I will take up, but just like random little jokes, those are definitely kept in. We'll see how it does. We'll see how it does. I'll try to like be, uh, have minimal editing as well. Or just like a, maybe like a camera zoom in. Haha, <laughs> look funny. Lamal funny, camera zoom in. Subtitles as well. Uh, and then... I don't know. Maybe I'll play a sound effect or two if, it, if I see like that it can actually bring something to the video's quality. The beginning of can cannibals. The beninging. The beninging of cannibals. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I, I, like uh, a couple nights ago, I uh, was talking to my parents, and I was like, I wonder how much English my parents know, you know? Let, let me let me see them like pronounce some words. So I like let them fucking pronounce some fucking English words, and my my dad, like no joke, my dad saw the word beginning, and he said beninging, and I fucking stuck. I don't think I've laughed harder in my life because I was like, that guy in that video that's that's like popular online who said beninging, he must have been doing it for a joke. And then I go to my dad, dad and he pronounces it the exact same fucking way. I, I actually fucking died laughing. It's so funny. <laughs> I really did not expect that anyone would pronounce ben beginning like beninging. <laughs> beninging. It's so fucking stupid, man. It's so funny. Uh. My, my mom was a little bit better. She, she clearly knows English a bit better than my dad. My dad is just horrible with English, honestly. And then my sister obviously just knows, like, I said well, obviously. It's obvious to me, not to you. Uh, my sister knows English really well. Only second to me, in our family at least. I should try that with my parents. Yeah, fucking, it's hilarious. Obviously, they could do. The, to be fair, they could do the same thing with me for like some like complicated Croatian words or complicated German words that I don't know. And I, I'd probably be the same. Actually, never mind. Nah, no, I would definitely not. Because the, the thing is with me, like I could see a word, and I feel like 90% of the time I would get the pronunciation right, no matter which language it is. Well, as long as I know which language it is, I feel like. As long as I know which language it is, I'll get the pronunciation correctly, probably. Unless it's some like kind of obscure language. Just an example, like, I'm b b bewildered every single time I see an American be like... I, I think I, I looked at a vidIQ, uh, vidIQ stream today. Because I'm like, I'm trying to get them, you know, to fucking review my challenge. Because I challenge, 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 no. Because I really want, uh, you know... What's it called again? Back, feedback. I always said back feed. Feedback. Feedback would be nice. So, so I always apply for their channel reviews. Uh, and literally, the, the, one of the main, the main guys, the one that's actually funny. Um... He uh, he literally pronounced Ghost of Tsushima as what, what, what did he say again? He said like Ghosts of 
I forgot what I forgot how he pronounced it as, but it actually was so be bewildering that he doesn't know how to pronounce it. I feel, I feel like it's so easy as long as you know it's like Japanese, like it's so easy to pronounce. I think he said, he said like Tsushima or Tsu Tsushima, Tsushima, something like that. It's actually I, I fucking can't believe that like, Americans are so so bad at pronouncing like other languages. It's so funny. It's charming though. It's charming. It's charming. I will say that. I'm waiting on that Elden Ring build. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, how's next week? I'll do it next week. I'll do it next week. Oh fuck! I can't do that. I'm I'm too used with the, to the Shrek run. I am used to like being able to actually just straight up. Uh, yeah, I can't just tank through his attacks anymore. Bro, the damage I'm doing is abysmal. Ah! Okay, we good. Fuck, I hate that move so much. There we go. No, but the damage I'm doing is so shit is because uh, of the frost. I know for sure it's, it's 100 percent because of the frost. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, man. Did that I thought that was gonna stun him. I actually thought that was gonna stun him. I swear to god, I should have stunned him. What? I was literally I'm like keeping track in my head because I basically know what every every enemy is uh when they get stunned. I have like a feel for that. But then I guess he didn't get stunned. That's weird. That always bewildered me. Like I feel like I was like maybe like one light attack off then, I guess. I mean, to be fair, it depends on like how fast you're attacking, but and to be fair, it is just feeling. It's like I'm actually counting in my head, so it's not exactly reliable, but still. I think I might start two-handing the axe, honestly. Yeah, I might start two-handing the axe, or, nah, it doesn't two-hand it in the fucking game. I can't two-hand it. It's illegal. Uh, he, he does, to be fair. He does for, like, charge attacks. Ah, fuck it. I'll two-hand it. I want more damage. Fuck it. Yeah, there we go. That, that looks much better. Fuck's sake. I love it. Come on. Goodbye. I think it does more poise damage as well, so it's good. It's better. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. Die. There we go. Alright. Yoinkus, Yoinkus. I'm not even sure how I'll do the Elon Musk build. I mean, isn't it just literally like, uh, like he has like 50 different weapons. He has heavy roll. Should be insane. I mean, it's definitely possible to beat it with that, but I doubt it's good. I I literally pressed X. Nah, impossible dodge. That actual, that circle attack is actually impossible straight up. Quite annoying. Fucking hell. Calm down, buddy. Who touched you? Who touched you, my man? Who touched you? What? I could swear to God he was still like, stun uh, like, uh, pair, uh, what, uh, repostable. What the fuck was that? Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, don't. Stop. I pressed X, what's happening? Fuck's sake. Frostbite, of course. I love that attack. It's literally undodgeable, quite literally. It's so annoying. I'm not even trying to, I know. But <laughs> there's no point to. I already tried dodging multiple times. Left, right, forward, backwards, none of it works. Okay.
I, I forgot that I need to do it right right away, otherwise I'm fucked. Did I just say Rike? A oh, Ruggie, Ruggie, Scooby! Fucking hell. Okay, he's gone, he's gone. Goodbye, get frosted, bitch. Get fr look at him, look at him, blue. Bro's blue. Bro turn, turn fucking blue from the frost. Alright, uh... I need to grab his, uh, what's it called? I always forget. Medallion. I'm gonna grab the piece of the medallion here. I'm gonna go over to the Albanoric village, grab that piece, and then I'm gonna fucking go fight Melania. Frost in the Froster. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go fight Melania. What am I talking about? I'm gonna go fight Moog. Melania's last. Melania's last. Melania. Or the only people who get to see me fight Melania are those who are patient enough to wait till the end of the stream. Or, you know, rewatch the stream later. <laughs> you know what the worst thing is? Like, I swear to God, there, there are some people who legit will, like, wait for me to finish, like, to, to the end of the stream to, like, watch me fight Melania. And then there's, like, uh, people who will literally just, like, get get that privilege right away. They can just skip to Melania immediately because uh, I actually, may put, like, put chapters in all of my videos. <clears throat> Unlike most streamers. Because I feel like it makes it easier to watch the stream. Like, you might click on a stream, I'd be like, okay, Kratos, I want to see him beat Melania. And instead of having to, like, look around, you know, where Melania is, you can just go to the Melania chapter right away and click on it. I feel like it makes it easier to watch. I don't want to have anyone fucking, like, struggling, fucking, like, searching, squinting to search uh, where the part of the video is, where, where I fight the boss that they want to see. The chapter thing is a blessing. It really is. I'm, I'm so glad that that was added to YouTube. That, that makes that makes shit so much easier to watch. Because obviously, I would say that like the most interesting part of uh, at the very least the boss runs where I play as the bosses, like Melania, for example, the Melania run. I feel like anyone who clicks on the Melania run, the main reason why they would click on it is to see me beat Melania with Melania. Right? With the Millennia build. Therefore, chapters help. Same thing with Moog, you know? Or, you know, you know the Mikula run. People want to be like, okay, I want to see Mikula beat Millennia, right? That, that fits kind of. And Moog, I guess, as well, since, you know. Diddler. P. Diddler. <laughs> Yoink. It's a shame that I can't really put too many chapters on the videos that, um. What was I gonna say? The, the video, they like Sunday and Saturday videos. And I guess now it's gonna be Friday as well. Because the, the issue with those is like, I gotta, like, I would have to go through the entire video to actually like find like chapters. Like, I can't like just know off the top of my head. So I, I can just, I can kind of make chapters. Like, I make, that's why I make the chapters right after I finish the stream because it's kind of fresh in my memory. And the chapters that I place are only for things that are actually interesting. Like, inter like really interesting bits that happen. The, like, you can see like the Subnautica video, like, more than like 80% of the stream is just like two chapters. The first one where I like lost all my sa save, I uh, lost my whole save file. And then the, what the fuck was wrong with my voice there? And then the second one where I, you know, actually like was going, catching back up to the save file. Like where I was at before I, uh, I lost it. And then there's like a couple of bits at the end that actually happened that are really interesting. And then those ones actually get their, those ones get their own chapters. Obviously, like we can, you can tell with the welcome to the game one. Holy shit, that shit! Like I just put the chapters where I got like scared, so people can just uh, see me scream like a little pussy and then leave. Cause that 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 fucking stream was. Oh, mir, mir. Wait, wrong side one. Oh. That welcome to the game stream was actually mid as shit. It was so, such a sleeper stream as well, because of it. Are you on PC? Uh, yes, absolutely. PC master race. And then I have a fucking. PlayStation 4 in the background. I'm not upgrading to 5. You might also notice that I have uh, Oculus Rift controllers. That is indeed CV1 Oculus Rift, the original. None of that Oculus Quest shit, none of that Oculus Pro. It's the original CV1. And it's definitely not because I'm poor. I just collect antiques. I hate that it's an antique. An, an, antique. <laughs> I hate that it's an antique already. Okay, I think my game. Never mind. I thought it was gonna crash. 
The biggest nightmare fuel for me though is the, is the fucking hello, is the PC crashing because it happened once when I was playing Subnautica and that's why I lost all my uh, all my save data. Hopefully it never happens again though, because holy shit I hate it. At least at least YouTube preserved the stream though. That's kind of chat of YouTube. Twitch did no such thing unfortunately, but YouTube did it. So that's nice. Then again, on the other side, Twitch actually, I'm pretty sure, lets you save streams that are longer than 12 hours, from what I remember. I'm not sure how long. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe not. I know YouTube allows it for 12 hours, so like when I did it uh, up to 12 hours. So when I did like a 12 hour long stream, I was like, okay, I'm at 10 hours now. Uh, I'm not sure how long these last bosses are gonna take. Uh, I'll wrap this up. Uh, I'm not sure like how long the bus is gonna take, so I'm just gonna end stream. I'm gonna start a new stream. So I did that basically, because I didn't want to not have the streams not get saved, and obviously I'm not recording at the same time, because my PC just isn't strong enough. Like you literally need two PCs to record at the same time as streaming, especially if you're doing it in, like 2K quality or 1440p to be more accurate. I haven't summoned boy for a single fight yet. That's kind of shit. I have to start summoning boy. Hmm. I'm probably gonna do like um, two more weeks of this challenge, these challenges. I think then I'm gonna move on to playing, uh, what's it called? The Convergence mod for Elden Ring. Just do a single playthrough of it. In fact, the only reason I, do, I don't do these uh, runs on Convergence is because uh, I can't play online on when I'm playing Convergence, obviously. Because for that, uh, for, first of all, I think I think you'll get banned immediately if you try and do that. But like, considering I'm not using any mods here, that, that like, I can do it then. What? The, the amount of fucking poise this woman has. The amount of sh the sheer amount of poise. Holy moly. She did not have this much poise last time. Fucking, I something through my teeth. When I say something, it's it's, it's definitely meat. I ate uh, earlier. <sighs> okay. So th I think uh, for the streams, well, did I already say this? I think I did. Actually, I th yeah, I did. I did. I already say. It. I'm not gonna repeat myself. I would basically just the stream schedule for this week. I already said it though. Earlier in the stream, I don't want to keep repeating myself. I, know, I won't fall down here. I won't fall down. Or at least not die. Very good. <clears throat> like two hours in. That's actually pretty good. For the amount of shit that we did. Fucking hell. I'm surprised that I, don't, I haven't seen any of the re uh, regulars today on the stream. Kind of weird. Usually we have a couple of regulars here, but uh, I think today it's only been new people. Or no, Lorenzo has been here. Lorenzo's been here for a little bit. What the f- she jumped over that? What a bitch. What? Woman what? Woman what? Goodbye. Thank you for the ancient dragon smithing stone. I think I have like 999 of them, but thank you. In fact, 999 on me and then probably like more in storage.
I actually need to like clean my tooth as soon as the stream ends. It's pissing me off. Okay. Like this. We're only gonna solve the puzzle right now, actually. Just when I gotta do it later. And then I'm gonna go fight Moog. Mogger. I feel like I said it every single stream whenever I, when I talk about Moog. Or Mog. Pretty sure it's pronounced Moog, though not Mog. Or just Mo, maybe? Maybe the G is silent? Good hell, man. I did not get enough sleep today, for real. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go directly for it. Bitch. How dare you. Fucking jump scare, dude, what the fuck? That scared the fuck out of me, that actually scared the shit out of me. Fucking hell, man. What a bitch. What a spoopy bitch. I need to heal. She gets me again, I'm fucked. I literally just realized that that took literally half of my HP. Did I just say literally like three times in a row? I need to fucking stop, man, I need to stop. One last one, and then we can uh, go Moog. We can go Mog on Moog. Anyways, hello, <laughs> wouldn't give me Torrent for some reason. Which way do I gotta go? I actually can't stop yawning, it's insane. What is going on? Literally ever since yesterday, to be fair, I haven't had any sleep since yesterday, really. Or oh, any good sleep, I've slept for like, maybe like... In the last 48 hours, I maybe slept like 12 hours. Well, not maybe, 100% I slept 12 hours, but like, not more than that. I don't think I slept more than that. Maybe, maybe like an hour or two more. Not quite sure. Why is there just one of these guys here? So weird. Did Mo kick him out? Out of his fucking palace or something? Is he a bad boy? That the worst thing about these is you can't even really damage them. Like they, they deal so little damage, it's absurd. What? 
what? That's bullshit. Hello, 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 that's bullshit, come on. Come on chill out. Bro, the amount of fucking damage he does is insane. But what the fuck, dude? Literally stuck between two enemies, come on. Get real. No. Bro, I hate this game. I actually hate this game. I love how whenever the NPC fights in every single one of these games are literally the worst thing ever. I would rather, I think I'd rather like play like, I don't know, what's the worst game ever made? I'd rather play the worst game ever made than ever fight an NPC in one of these games. It's actually the worst. I still can't believe they haven't even like slightly decided to change it. Bro literally just stunlocks me. <laughs> Bro literally just stunlocks me. Hey man, I really like your stream. I need to go right now, but keep doing what you're doing. You have a new sub. Thanks for subbing, man. See you later. Hope you had fun. Okay. Man, I really fucking do not like those enemies, man. I really do not like those enemies. Or, well, NPC enemies. Because goddamn. Uh, at least this one. This one's especially bad. Because, like, holy shit, he just fucking stunlocks you. You better hope you have enough poise, otherwise he's just going to stunlock you and, and you're going to die. Alright, unless, unless you can, I guess, one-shot him or stunlock him. But, I mean, I'm not really counting those... Those scenarios. Scenarios. The fuck is it? What, what the dog doing? Oh, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Are you serious? Are you? Uh, now he has a fucking ally. Oh, now he has a comrade. The comrade. Now he has a comrade. That's cool. That's cool. That's great. Oh, he didn't even. The dog didn't even take damage. This is not real life. Goodbye, fucking loser. Holy shit, I hate him. Just let me please go on my horse. Please let me go on my horse. Please, please. Oh, whatever. It's close anyways. I can just walk. Yuck. Okay, Moog time. Time to Mog on Moog. After which, we shall go and do Fair Mazula and the Fire Giant, I guess. And after that, we have the Ashen Capital, and then... Oh, uh, what should we call it? Uh, Melania. How did I forget her name? It's funny how odd the like blood in this area is because if it doesn't behave any differently from like normal water Like it doesn't look like it's like more like dense which obviously blood is But uh yeah, Kind of weird kind of weird honestly Very watered watered down blood Oh shit. 
Can you tell Sire to get his mom out of the picture? What? What are you on about, Super Cat? I don't know who you mean. Tell him that. Yeah, who? Who should I tell him? Who should I tell? Sire? Who's Sire? That's my brother. Ah, sire, take your mom out of your picture. All right, I said it. Hey, Chad, I don't understand. Hello, Dream Master. Welcome, welcome. We're about to fight a um, Nogger. Except, actually, never mind. I need to go fucking grab the. I forgot again. The the tear, the blood tear that like makes you like immune to nihil. I'm well, not immune, but you know, resistant to it, heavily resistant. Mix physic, physic. Yoink. There we go, now I can go. Kinda weird that you, kind of weird that you can like fall like through here. Like any of the other uh, Dark Souls games, they just like try to fuck you over and make you fall down. You just like see it's like coming down, you walk forward and you just fucking fall down to your death. No, know why, but like whenever I do this with the axe under certain lighting, it looks like the it's actually flipped the other way around. Very odd. Okay, time for Mogur. Luckily, I think he's weak to uh, Frost as well. What? As well as Bleed. What? Hello? What's with the aggression, dude? You're never this aggressive when I play against you. What the hell's happening? Calm down. Calm down, buddy. No one's gonna steal your fucking nickel. I'm just here to kill you. Come on. Get fucked. Yoink. Yoink. Let me cut let me cut some of those horns off. I'm an expert. Fuck's sake, man. Don't stop. Stop? You need to stop. You actually need to stop, like, seriously. Okay. That's great. Did no damage to him. That's great. Fantastic. That's bad. That's really bad. There we go. Nice, nice. We got him. We got him. Get fucked. Get fucked, git. No, I should stop doing that. Stop. 
Stop! Fuck! That actually just led to me taking even more damage. I literally can't see him do that move though. Like, I can't see behind him. A heal? Of course not. I love how you can't heal. Like, oh, find openings to heal my ass. He does, it doesn't care. He doesn't care. You need to put distance and then find an opening, which is literally impossible unless the enemy has like long range moves. That's such bullshit, honestly. Of course, of course. Okay, we need to finish him off with the... Uh, what's it called? Spartan Rage. We need to finish him off with one of those. Wait a second. Roar! Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Spartan Rage kills you, baby. Miko is mine. That, that Fembussy, Fembussy is mine. Please ignore that. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna just go to level 110 for the Fire Giant. Like. Okay, we're done with Moke, we just go Fire Giant now, I think. Just here, yep. Fire Giant, then Fire Missoula, then Action Capital, and then... Millennia. Gotta be fun, without a doubt. Definitely not gonna, not, definitely not gonna suffer against Millennia. To be fair, I do have more reach than I did with the... with the... with the Longsword for when I played with Nicola. Nicola's longsword, I'm pretty sure the axe has more range than that longsword. I'm gonna pick my nose off the fucking camera for a second. Like. Hope you guys like the new additions to the top uh, top left corner. Whenever we play this game. This, these, these game. Whenever we play this game. We got, we got like a, or I guess when we specifically do these runs, there's always gotta be a, a thing in the top, top, top uh, left corner. Uh, that like shows which character we're playing as. Just so like nobody gets confused. Because now with Shrek, a lot of people got confused. Do we probably include it only whenever we play as a character which is, you know. Confusing, as in, as in, you don't know with uh, which character I'm playing with. Then I'll probably stick it up there. But otherwise, I don't see the point. Really. I mean, everyone knows Kratos. Come on. Or maybe everyone doesn't. Maybe I should keep it there. Let me keep it. Keep it there. I think maybe I'll actually. I'll maybe just scale it down so it like fits within the. Wait a second. Let me actually try to do that. Let's see how. how let's see how that works. Let, let me try like. Uh, let me remove like remove chat. Let me just fuck chat off real real quick for a second. So I can see the stream better. Probably do one of these and put them like in here. Eh, not really. It'd have to be like really tiny. Like that? The issue is that he's not transparent. If it was transparent, it'd be much better. Also, whenever it disappears, it looks kind of bad. I'll show you in a second, wait. Why is it? Fuck. That's a bit better. Move it a bit up. A bit more up. That's quite good. That's quite good, I think. That's quite good. The issue is obviously like this. Watch this. Yeah, like that. That's the issue. Because that looks kind of ugly. But that looks really good. That looks really good whenever we're doing that. 
So I might just keep it like that, I think. Because that looks, that looks pretty decent. It's visible enough, to be fair. It's visible enough. Okay, let me just fucking... Oh, right, I forgot to uh, move chat so I can actually see it. There we go. Much better. Where am I now? Ah, okay. Right, right, fire giant, fire giant. Right, of course. Yeah, probably for fair Missoula. Or... Maybe. Wait, I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe, I think so. I think for fair Missoula, I'll switch back to the Chaos Blades. The Blades of Chaos. And then, I'm, and then after that, I'm gonna switch back to the Axe. For the final bosses. Or for Millennia. Not for the final bosses, for Millennia. Actually, maybe maybe I'll do Fair Missoula with the Axe as well, and then I'll switch. Blades of Chaos real quick, just to do the final bosses, final three bosses. Because I'm pretty sure they're not really weak to cold. And they're weak to fire, so I might as well use that. In fact, can I like, like, just have the Blades of Chaos like, on me? Without like getting overweight? I think so. Maybe? Yeah, yeah I can. I can definitely. Easy, okay, great. We can just switch whenever we run, like that. Link, there we go. Guys, it's peak, it's peak, we reach peak. Peak performance. Yeah, I think since we've got, gotten the, 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 well actually never mind. we haven't gotten them yet. I'll put, back, I'll put the chains back on whenever we get that shit. Are the chains even, they are, they are, they are. Yeah, I'll put, I'll put the chains back on whenever we defeat five guys. That's gonna be our version of that one giant that you fight in the in the underworld before you get the. Oh, actually, that's not before you get them. You get them and then you go to the underworld, right? I forgot. So I guess I can switch now. I guess I can switch now. Actually, yeah, we're going to. This is the underworld right now. So so we'll uh, we'll, we'll get the fucking blades of chaos back. Blades of chaos back. There we go. Yeah, we got the blades of chaos back. We use it for this fight. Then we'll switch back to the Leviathan axe. Fuck, wait, we don't do that much damage here though, that's the issue. To the fire giant with the fire. Okay, oh, so he's obviously resistant to fire, isn't he? Yeah, I thought it was I, I'm not sure how you're supposed to dodge that without getting off your horse first. How much damage? That is abysmally low. That is abysmally low. What about this? Fuck. I guess I'm not gonna find out. But the chains stay on regardless, I think. Oh, that does way more damage. Or not. The heavy attacks do. Tell Saeed that his mom is reading a book. Saeed, your mom is reading a book. Why are you telling me to say all this? Who the fuck is Saeed? Is he got like three brothers or something? Fucking hell. Are you trolling your bros? You're trolling your bros? I gave you two freebies now, for the next one I gotta pay. Uh, I'm not risking getting into some fucking trouble because of shit you're making, you're making me say. <laughs> to be fair, not, nothing so far seems abnormal, so. Uh, why he killed me? Alright, oh, because the game's bullshit, right? I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Because you gotta like sit there and wait while, while the flames are active. So I accidentally die. What's this music? This GTA San Andreas or something? Fuck off, I did it again. I forgot to activate the bonfire. 
Got like, got like skin. Disgusting. I literally said like who spits their own skin earlier this stream and then I do it. To feel this like dirty, this is disgusting. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm putting the fucking bandages back on. <laughs> Holy shit, what the hell? I think that was the first sneeze I had on stream. Holy moly. Uh, followed, by, uh, followed up by a fucking yawn. The sneeze and yawn combo. Just baited his attack out so he doesn't use the laser. Because if he doesn't, fucked. fuck was that music that was playing just now? Ah, it's fucking, it's uh, Sonic. I know shit, it sounds like fucking GTA San Andreas music. It's probably from, uh, what's his name? Knuckles Steam. Is it Knuckles like canonically Ugandan? I'm pretty sure he is. Let me see, let me, is pissing me off. I know I get hyper obsessed about these things, I'm sorry, but holy shit, I can't. I need to like actually make it fit in the middle. That's even worse now. That's actually I keep I keep making it worse. I keep making it worse, looks like I keep, why was it why is it getting dragged to like the it's getting like dragged to the side. Why? I'm literally dragging it upwards. No, it actually keeps doing it. That's too much. Nearly perfect. Too much. Actually, fuck it. I'll leave it like that. How's that? Looks fine, I think. Looks fine, looks fine. There we go. Yeah, that looks fine. I got another comment. What is this? Why is Reachstream like bragging that I've received 100 messages? Oh shit, sure we're gonna attack. Fuck, 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 fuck. Dude, you gotta kill me. You gotta get me killed. Tell Cruel Chain and Snake that they are the goats. Who the fuck are those even? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anymore. I say anything more of that. I don't, I don't know who the fuck those two are. That, that, that could be very much controversial. I'm not saying that. Okay, we're almost back at the fucking giant. On God, it's nothing, not anything bad. Regardless, I'm not saying it, I'm not doing it. Enough of those, enough of those memes. I'm not saying anything. I have to be careful, I can't be fucked to look it up, who the fuck those two people are. I did it again. I didn't activate the bonfire, I can't. If I die again, I'll have to run all the way back. Fuck that shit. Takes a while as is. Once the stream been like three hours? Okay, that's surprisingly little. I thought it would be way longer than that. By this point, it feels way longer. <sighs> hmm. 
Clap fire giant cheeks. That is the intention. That is the intention. We're gonna clap his cheeks. You people are fucking disgusting. You know that? <laughs> Actual degenerates. I literally, by the way, after in my like uh, about section, right, on, on YouTube, if you expand it, you will literally see like a message called uh, my chat is full of degenerates, and then it's an SOS built below that, like directly below that. It's an SOS message in Morse code. So I was, I was, I was just fucking, I need help. I need help. I need help because my chat needs help. Okay, so you jump off the horse like that. Okay, good. Fuck's sake, man. Should I get boy? I mean, I'm gonna summon him, I guess. It will make a difference, though. I actually want to, like, boost his HP. I don't want to do that. Bro, I am healing, I'm healing, I'm healing. Can you stop? I did not get off my horse. I did not get off my horse. I jumped off, thank you very much. Fuck's sake. There we go, nice, 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 nice. Oh, and we got our souls back. What a, what a fucking amazing comeback. Excuse me? Can you stop? That's actually such a bullshit move, I hate it. That is actually such a bullshit move. That is actually such a bullshit move, man. That is so annoying. That is such an annoying move. I can give me a second. Uh, doing something real quick. Fucking hell. That's such a bullshit move. I hate it. What's good? Currently nothing. I, I fucking I hate this boss. What's, what's up? Why am I getting fucking one, one shot by him all of a sudden? The best thing is the, like the flames. Like I'm pretty sure that for the like second one, they didn't even hit me. I think he just sat on my on my head, and I, I, that killed me. I got crushed by his immense weight. I love how when he does that move, you just gotta basically like find a spot to stay in and not attack him and not move at all. It's very engaging gameplay. Because anything else clearly just gets you killed. I love it, I love it. Absolutely. Not, not, a, not sarcastic at all. Okay, we got that, we got this. Okay. Let's go fucking, uh, let's go... F I think I'm gonna summon boy. I can't, I can't summon him. Can I? I can't summon boy. So sad. Don't have enough uh, FP to summon him. Don't care. Boy's weak, anyways. He just hindered me. Boy, you're weak, boy. Fuck's sake! I love how I missed that. Come on. Bro's digging around his own fucking mouth. Disgusting. I definitely didn't do that earlier. I would never. Is he immune to freeze? They might be immune to freeze. Now that you just gotta find a little, little pocket to stay in and, and just hope he doesn't get kill me. Just hope to God he doesn't kill me. And nice. The fucking soul spawn right next to him. Let's go at least. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay away. Not even gonna bother. Fuck 
fucking hell, can you chill out? Okay. Is he doing it again? He wouldn't dare. Ah, uh, he's doing those fucking uh, little balls. I mean, horse is dead, but yeah, horse is dead, but we could. Okay, okay, no, 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 now we have a problem, game, now we have a problem. How come I fell off my horse and then immediately stood up and was ready to take damage again? Now we have a problem. I love how every single fucking stupid stream, we have one fucking boss that we struggle against. And it never makes any sense. It never makes any sense. How is it the fire giant this time? I never once struggled with the fire giant. And now, now it's happening. Because of course, I swear to god, these streams are so fucking... Uh, from software is like messing with me intentionally. They're watching these streams are fucking with me. They gotta be. This is impossible. How is this specific build making me struggle against the fire giant? Makes no sense. It's like I never used a fucking axe before whenever I played. Actually, wait. No, I never did. I guess axes just rig the boss to one shot you, I guess. Whenever you wear, like, depending on the specific weapon you have, that or just like a, a coin, maybe a coin getting tossed, or like a dice getting rolled. That's great, I pressed the button to jump off my horse, but the game didn't want to hear any of it. Um, whenever you start a new game, just a dice gets, like, rolled, and uh, a die, I guess, maybe. A dice, dice is plural. A die gets rolled, and basically that decides on which boss is going to be, like, your nemesis that run. Which boss is going to take the, the most time, which boss is going to pull the most bullshit. That's how it feels so far, definitely. Gotta love the camera, right? Gotta love the camera in this game. Fuck's sake. Gotta love how most of it is just one shots. Like it's like literally one mistake and you're dead. How's that good game design? One mistake and you're dead. Fucking hell. What the fuck was that? Dodge one, get hit by the other. Good game design. I'm actually gonna die. Okay, I, I I got lucky there. There we go. Nice. We got him pretty good. We got him pretty good, I think. Like, I don't even know what to say there. Like, I don't know what to say. I, I think you can rewind and, and that's proof that that is literally intentional. Like, so, something's happening here in the background. Behind the scenes. Something's happening behind the scenes to fuck me over this time. Uh, look at me taking a shot from that attack. Literally the last attempt. It dealt half my health. And now it just one shots me. Full HP, by the way. Full HP. Not in like a critical situation where I would take more damage. One shot. If he, if he one shots me moving with that, then not cap. Big fat cap game is bad. Okay, so this time I can, nah, the game, no, nah, someone's fucking with me. A From Software employee, stop watching and fuck off. Nah, literally press X, nothing happens. In the middle of a roll, I still, I still get caught. Okay, now I'm just coping, I don't care, I don't care, I'm gonna cope. I'm gonna cope because I earned it. I think I earned it. If you're a, no a normal, reasonable person, I think you can uh, agree that I earned to cope and shit say the game is garbage after doing this shit to me. This is actually fucking stupid. This is actually stupid. Look to my any other. Uh, look at any of my other runs. Not once did I struggle with this guy, and now I suddenly in. How? How the fuck? How in the fuck? Shit makes zero sense. From software employee, stop watching. Fuck off and stop rigging my game. I swear to god, I'm turning into conspiracy theories. From Software is watching the stream and they're rigging my game. Actually, they're probably not even watching the stream. They're probably just watching the gameplay just so they don't even give me like any uh, watch time or anything. Actual douchebags. What's happening? Like, what the fuck? I was gonna roll through that attack, I don't care. Oh, now he's doing a different one. Okay, great. Thank you, thank you. Go fucking suck a cock. Honestly, just suck a cock. 
Suck the fattest dick. That's great. Suck. Can you suck a big fat cock one? A big cock one. Just suck a big fat con conga line. That's great. I love it. Stop camera. Can you camera? Can you stop, please? Like it's not funny. In the real, it's not funny. That's actually not even funny. I, okay, whatever. How I am not reaching. I barely survived that one. There we go. What's the deal with this boss? And how tight is this pussy? What is that? Again? He spams it twice? That's quite odd. Yeah, that's great. I can't even see anything. Oh, now he does one of these. Oh, let me guess, I'm gonna get one shot again. I'm gonna get one tap. Even though I'm beneath him, I'm gonna get one tap. That's great. Fucking hell. Why is it always just one boss? Every single time it's a different one as well. It's so frustrating. Like, no consistency in this game. Even the bosses I struggle at have, like, no consistency whatsoever. That's great, that's great. <laughs> Move! What's he doing? Rolling in the same spot? What's happening? Dude, nah, you can't do that. You can't do that. that that's illegal. Stop pushing me. Stop pushing me. Bro, literally pushing me into the flaves. Fla flaves. Into the flavors. Yoink his head, please. Yes. Yes. Not happening, buddy. Okay, fuck off. Stop, please. You're annoying. Please, please stop. Why can't I chop his dick here? Why can't I chop his pubic hair off? Bad game. Now, if this game let me cut off the giant's pubic hair, like, we, we would be talking, okay? We'd be talking. But it doesn't, so... Get fucked. Get mouthed. Get, get fucking dentist. Dentist. What a fucking cunt boss. I hate this shit. Like, how come every single time it's a different one? That fucks me over. It's insane. That actually took 10 years of my life. That was horrible. Always a different boss. Always a different boss. It makes no sense even. Why would it be the fire giant? I mean, to be, you know, it makes sense that, that, that we're fighting here, to be fair. I, I guess it's more fitting than any other boss, really. Because, I mean, it's literally the only boss that's, that's like, you know, a God of War boss. Like, literally, you fight, like, in, in God of War 2018. I don't know about Ragnarok, but 2018, you fight those giant ogre bosses, like, so many times. It's insane. That kind of fits, that kind of fits. Ah yes, the kiln of the first flame, but big. Such originality, look at this. Kiln of the first flame, but big. Oh my god, it's so original. It's such an original game. I just love saying that just to fucking uh, piss people off. Okay, let me just grab one of these and then what was it that I used again? 
consecutive attacks. I think I'm just gonna go for uh, damage negation, probably. And then, for, instead of this, I put on this. There we go. Okay, time for the bosses. I think I'm gonna skip maybe uh, Plassy Dusax. I don't see the point of fighting him anyways. Plus, I don't think I'll be doing, doing much damage to him to begin with, so... Or, or should I do it? I mean, to be fair, I kind of want—I kind of want this run to last like like an hour or so more, and not like two, because I don't know how long we're gonna fucking fight Placid. I guess I can try fight Placid Usex. We'll see. I'll try at least. I'm not promising anything though. So I kind of don't feel like wanna—I don't feel like I want to fight him because he's a boring boss and I hate him. A boring, annoying boss. Is he weak to fire though? I'm pretty sure he is actually. Aren't all the bosses here weak to fire? Let's pretend they are. Let's pretend they are. We can get our chains back then. Where are the chains? Did he have the chains? He must have, he must. There's no way he used bandages to fucking swing his swords around. That would be hella cool, but hella uh, also too anime, I feel like, for God of War. God of War is an anime enough for that stuff. Yeah, don't care, don't care. Literally, I can kill less. I couldn't care less. Buddy, I couldn't care less. I genuinely couldn't care less. Dude, I do not care. Please don't. Get, get, fuck off, please. Thank you. I fucking hate those guys. So, so just fucking annoying. I hope because of the fucking scarf, it looks like he has no beard. He does, he does. He has a big full beard. This is a better item to use, really, but like this, this isn't really better. There's nothing else that could really compare. Just this, maybe. For, should we do this for Rag, uh, for Ragnarok? Is he, some, he has a similar fit. Like he's a bit, he's a bit different though. He's a bit different. It's more of a mix of this. Like imagine this with the cape. That's more his fit. Unfortunately, no such thing in this game. I don't want to make him full on naked. That doesn't really fit. Okay, rest. And then that god, blah blah blah. And then gods can do it. Fuck's sake. Fucking hell. Uh, right. Let me check what the recommended level is and then I'll level up real quick. Uh, wait a second, I'm checking something. good uh, right the level the level the level the level it says 120 for fire 130 for malekith uh, 
I got up to 120 maybe. So Vigor, why do I have Vigor at 62? I would have stopped at 60, honestly. No, I went that high. Okay. Just level up, rubber up. I just level up strength then. I just, I just level up like that. I think it's fine. Fuck off! That was such bullshit. I dodged actually. He didn't even hit me. It's just the AOE does literally the same amount of damage as if he hit you head on. It's so stupid. It should at most just stun you. It should not deal damage. It makes no sense. How's the little gust of wind gonna deal damage to me? Oh, whatever, I'm just complaining about shit. Uh, about random shit doesn't even matter that much. Okay, that does matter though, to be fair. Okay, that, 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 all of that does matter. All of that does matter. That is actually so petty. That as well. I put reading, that's great. Yeah, fuck off. Come on. Yeah, I'm so fucking tired, I swear. I need to get like more sleep tomorrow. I need to actually make sure I go to sleep earlier today because uh, I'm actually ruining myself like this. My health is fucking gone. I love how, I love how you can throw, throw it when you're literally in front of him and it'll still like chase you. Like it'll go literally to exactly to your position. Can you get up? Hello? Character, you're not getting up. Yeah, thanks, 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 buddy. Thanks, friend. You must be fun at parties. Stop. This game actually sucks, dick and balls. This game actually... I'm dead. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Never mind. That, that sucked, though. That sucked. That actually sucked, dick and balls. That was awful. I literally dodged, okay, hello? Okay, at least I did that. I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage to the individuals, but not the HP bar as a whole. It's kind of weird. I feel like I'd actually need to kill like Five of them just to like empty the HP bar, even though normally I feel like I can just damage like three of them and that's it. Or four maybe. Goodbye. Yeah, combat, combat, combo, 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 combat. Combative combos. I should have summoned the boy for this, I forgot completely. Totally should have summoned boy. Would have made, would have made perfect sense. That's good. Now, that's literally undodgeable, I'm sorry it is. I'm, again, again, I'm actually dead. I'm actually gonna die because this move is bullshit. I'm actually gonna die because I died because this move is bullshit. I actually straight up died there because this move is actual bullshit. Fuck off. If you think that's a well designed move, you actually just straight up deserve to be in a mental asylum. That is actually insane. You're the, you're the biggest glazer on the planet if you think that move is balanced. I love, I love how, by the way, I couldn't even, like, you, you're supposed to, like, clearly dodge it first time. No, you're supposed to get hit by it once, 100%. It's not dodgeable. Uh, it's literally lucky. You're just, you're just uh, lucky if you dodge it. And then you're supposed to run, run in a circle. That's clearly what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to run in a circle. Uh, the issue with that is, in this fucking arena, uh, he can get stuck on the pillars for like a little bit and then I messes it up and then he goes like straight at you. It would, like no running in circles, like he just goes straight at you. That's fucking bullshit, I hate this game so much sometimes. That was actually garbage game design. I hate this boss. I hate all bosses in this game. It just depends on like, uh, you know. I say I like him, but I only say I like him when I get lucky to be fair. Like if you get, if you truly get like unlucky with every single time you fight a boss, guess what, every single boss in this game is dark shit. It's literally dependent on your luck. For a large majority. Like Melania. How do you, who thinks Amelia is a good boss? Alright, people who uh, either like cheesed her or people who just never got like waterfalled from close up. Or just like obviously the top 100% of players who can genuinely just dodge the move, which is just insane. That does, that does not count. That literally does not count. 
Like, be just because you are, you have like superhuman senses and timings. I don't think that counts. As uh, when you say that it's good boss design just because you can dodge it. Fair enough, same should maybe go for me, but then again, I feel like most people have the opinion that Waterfall is bullshit, so... I'm just kind of like playing up to the major majority opinion. Not playing up to it, uh, sharing it really with the majority. Fucking hell, that was so much damage, that was so unfair. He should not have done that much damage to me. Put him to sleep, put him to sleep, put him to sleep. He's, he's actually gonna just tank the damage and die. Put him to sleep. Can you do something? Put him to sleep, bro. If I die, because this dude is just doing nothing, a woman, I guess, doing nothing, I actually swear to God. There we go. Is he gonna do the move? Yes, fall asleep, thank you. Thank you, bro, it's actually useful as shit. Okay, great. Goodbye. Where's the, where's the next one spawning? There we go. Watch me still die somehow, that would be impressive actually. Atreus, finish him! Whoa. <clears throat> Wait a second. Boy, boy, fi finish him, boy. Finish him, boy. Boy, finish him, boy. Boy, end his life, boy. End his life. Do it, boy. Do it, boy. Boy, just do it. Boy, do it. Do it. End his life, boy. Boy. Boy, what are you doing, boy? Boy, aim. Aim, boy. Shoot him, boy. Boy, what are you doing, boy? Just kill him. Boy, come on. Hurry it up. What did we talk about, boy? Why'd you put him to sleep? Boy, you are such a boring character that you put him to sleep, boy. Boy. I can't, I can't really I can't really do the really deep voice. Boy. Kill them, boy. Kill them. Are they gonna wake up? Do I, do I actually have to finish him off? Boy, she shoot them dead, boy, shoot them dead. Boy, just shoot them. Just shoot them dead, boy. Boy. Boy, shoot them dead. Boy. Do not hear me, boy. Shoot them. Do I have to wait? Do I actually have to wait? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I got a better idea, I got a better idea. Watch this, watch this. If this kills him, I swear to god. Boy, shoot him. Shoot him, boy. I woke him up for you, boy. Shoot him. Kill him, please. Make your daddy proud. Oh, boy's going ultra instinct. Just shoot. Why aren't you shooting? Boy, I'm so proud of you, boy. Come here, boy. Let me give you a good old... Let me give you a good old hug. I actually... That looked like it was like half sucking me off there for a second. <clears throat> okay. Boy did a good job, surprisingly. He did put them to sleep, though. That's kind of shit. I mean... Says a lot about his character writing if you put them to, uh, to sleep, you know? Even the enemies in Elden Ring, like Jesus Christ. We good, we good. Boy did something, boy was useful. <laughs> boy was fucking useful, man. For once in his life, he was useful. <laughs> Took 24 minutes. <laughs> fucking hell. About 20, about 20 minutes more like. Okay. Uh, do we do Plassey Dusax or not? Uh, that's what I'm curious about, I'm not too sure. Look, I kind of don't want to do him. I, I'm not sure if anyone even wants to see me do Plassey Dusax, that's the thing. But to be fair, 
Kratos did kill a dragon once, so maybe we could do Placidusax as a stand-in for the dragon. Maybe. I think that could be... Could definitely be a viable option. Could definitely be a viable option. I really wish I could do a deep voice, but I can't. Like, I, I, I know for, for sure that that voice does not sound deep. You can just tell when looking at that person, like, if they can do a deep voice or not, to be fair. Like, looking at Kratos' voice actor, you're like, yeah, that, that he definitely has a deep voice, Run, fucking run. Do not touch the dragon. I think... Should, I was wondering, like, should I do, like, Radagon Fists only? Uh, or like this? Like, Spartan Rage only? But I don't think so, I don't think so. I don't think so. Just don't think it'd be very fun to do. This bro, this bro has like ultra instinct. He literally like rushed outside and just straight up si started uh, throwing those things at me. Bro just has hyper awareness. He knows exactly where I, he knows exactly where I am at all times. What the fuck? Stop! Stop! St stop! I want to actually please. I want to actually go to the bonfire. Thank you. I do not want to walk all this way again. Please fall down. Please fall down. Please fall down. Nah, they. I don't think they can even. Can they? Nah. I think they literally just like get blocked out, uh, blocked out. Cause like I feel like if an enemy is powerful enough, that or just from software, like, you know, like flip the coin or something to the side of, uh, the enemy will like not or will fall off a cliff. Like either it's either based on how strong the enemy is considered, uh, or how or just like random, complete randomness. Could be either. I'm leaning towards the random side. But you know me. From software hater, Elden Ring hater, says the game is 9 out of 10, how dare he? Okay. Oh, I hate this fucking shit. Please? Okay, good, we good. What is Plasti do? I'm gonna actually look it up this time, because I actually am curious and I don't wanna... Because I think I'm only gonna do one attempt, so I don't wanna waste my time. Classy do sex weakness. Fire lightning damage. Ooh. Weird, but okay. Weird that he's weak to fucking lightning. I mean, fire expected, but like lightning? And the, he's literally a lightning dragon. Like, how is he weak to lightning? Should make, should make zero sense. I'd expect like blunt and fire, maybe. Not lightning. The fuck? Or strike. It's not blunt. It's strike. Strike force. Time to kick his ass. Let's go, baby. Let's fucking kick Plassy Dusak's ass. Plassy Dusak's ass. Sleep is useless against him, so I'm gonna bother summoning boy. Boy is kinda useless. I'll just waste my FP that I can use him to damage him instead. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Boy? You're gonna assist me in this fight, boy. I wanted to have I wanted the boss gets more HP whenever you summon boy. Uh, uh, whenever you summon a spirit ash. Boy doing anything? Most likely not. I mean, he's doing a bit, maybe. He's doing a bit. Oh, he's attacking boy. Hell yeah. He's not even attacking me. He's attacking boy. Boy is actually helpful as a distraction. This is good. No, no, no. Fuck's sake.
Oh, is, she, is she doing it again? Fuck off the range on that bitch. Even if you're at the tip of his tail, you still get hit. So you literally can't damage him at all, I guess, for that one. Nah, that one's undodgeable, I swear to god, it's literally undodgeable. You just have to run around. It's not like it's impossible to take damage or anything, but it is impossible to actually just press X and dodge. I swear to god. That or the timing is like ungodly precise. Oh, boy's dead. Oh no, so sad. So sad, boy's dead. What am I gonna do with it without him in my life? I really don't know. I think it, I think now the dragon genuinely has more HP because I used boy. That is not good. I think jumping attacks are just optimal, honestly. Do I still have the fucking blood thing? I think I do. The blood, uh, tier. But I feel like I shouldn't anymore. Why do I still have it? I think I removed it. Also, that attack is just, just actually such an annoyance. It's so difficult to dodge, like, the timing is insane. Fuck's sake. And then I gotta fucking do one of these. Fuck's sake. Okay, 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 we got him, we got him. It's fine, it's fine, we got him. What's, he, what's that? What's that for? I thought it was gonna be the laser. It probably was if I was like a certain distance away. It probably was gonna be the laser. Fuck. Am I supposed to know if he's gonna do the fucking fire or not? Do I actually gotta like... Physically watch out for it? Yeah, it's just over. It's over. It's over. Okay, it's actually dodgeable. It's just the timing is garbage. Oh, the fuck. Did I do that? I'm a god. Oh, no. I'm dead. I mean, I'm literally playing as Kratos, so yeah, of course I'm a god. Yeah, it's over. Okay, thank God. If you can't tank that shit, I swear to God, it's, it's over if you can't tank it. Because that shit is such bullshit to dodge. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to, like, know when it's coming? It's literally just timing. You can't really react to it, I feel like. Fuck's sake. It doesn't feel like you can react to it, at the very least. Can you can you actually let me live? Can you let me... Nah, I guess not, I guess not. Literally just stuck on his leg. Yeah, okay, take t double damage. Yeah, that's great. Just kill me. Just kill me right away. Why not? It'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? If I had to redo the whole fight, because uh, the game is bullshit. Okay, yeah, that'd be funny. Make sure to do that, please. I'm gonna just like... Okay, that's great. Fucking hell. First try. Still bullshit fight, but first try. Now the whole ending game of Elden Ring is just kind of an L, honestly. It's kind of an L. Dragon Temple, I'm just going besides the Great Bridge. Okay, let's well go fight Malekith, who's at least somewhat fair, except for the one attack he has. Everything else he's fair against, I guess. Kind of. I th I'm thinking I'll, I'll switch back to the axe now. I'm not sure what Malekith is weak against, but I think I'll switch back to the axe. One-handed, of course. Because Malekith doesn't have much health anyways. And then uh, for the final three bosses, I'll switch back to fire, because, like, I think they're all weak to fire. Except maybe... Not, not Godfrey, not Godfrey. I'll, still, I'll, switch, switch back, I'll switch back to the Chaos Blades for Radagon. And, and obviously, Elden Beast. For everyone else, I feel like the axe will be more than enough, it's fine. 
That, again, I have the fucking blood thing. I'm pretty sure it's the red. I think at least. That's great that I can dodge that. That's great, like, that's undodgeable. That's fucking fantastic. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I love the first phase of Malekith. Oh, it's so good. The first phase of Malekith is so good. It's literally better than the second phase. It's so good, dude. I love, like... I love just taking unavoidable damage. I love it. I love not being able to punish half of his moves because I have a slightly heavier weapon. Oh, I, I, lo I love the I love how he literally swings his uh, dagger uh, above me and he still hits me. That's great. I love it. Oh, I love how the uh, timing was literally one millisecond too late and I got hit. That's great. I love it. That's great how I can punish him with this heavy attack after he does that long ass charge attack. I love it. Oh, I love how I can even punish him with anything. That's great. I, lo I love how we have to tr you have to hit trade. That's so good, dude. I love hit trading. How is he still not? That's great. I literally pressed X, but the game didn't work. I guess I was trying. I was thinking I was trying to run. Maybe I held it for like a second, millisecond too long. That's great. How is he still not? I don't get it. How is he still not uh, stunned? I love how he can do either that or the big thrust move. I mean, I know it's based on distance, but the distance really is negligible. That's great, that's great. I love how he can even react to that. Yeah, I love how he can punish. You can only you can only punish like like one combo, I swear to god. Without hit trading. It's embarrassing game design. Yeah, that's great. Can't even punish that. Yeah, that's the only combo you can really punish. Everything else you can really. That's great. I love how you can punish that. That's great. Fantastic. I'm gonna shit on this fucking endgame so hard you have no idea. Oh, 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 would, would you look at that? Would you look at that? The things that he, I can usually punish on every other run, this time he decided, nah, I think this time I'm gonna do a combo. How did he decide that? Uh, I guess I was, according to Lorenzo, I guess I was uh, one millimeter uh, away from him than I should have been. One millimeter positioning issue. I fucking hate this game. I don't, but I hate the end game. I really do. Depends on what build I'm doing, I guess. Depends on what build I'm doing. This game is only truly funny if you're if you're cheesing it. This game is only truly funny if you're cheesing it, at least to some degree. Anyone who says otherwise is just either like one percent top one percent player or just straight up lying because they themselves cheese the game and they refuse to admit it. Like I didn't cheese, I just used the the resources the game provided me. It's like I mean yeah, it's cheesing. It doesn't matter if it's in the game, it's cheesing. It's not, that's why it's not called cheating. It's literally called cheesing because it's in the game. You're using stuff the game provides you to make the game easier. But it's still cheesing at the end of the day. See, he either does that or he does the other move, and that's completely random. That is completely random. 100% completely random. Because every single time I'm in his face when he does that, and... That move. That's the one I He does either that or the fucking... this one. And it's random. Completely RNG. Fuck's sake. Yeah. I'm surprised I was able to avoid that, honestly. The game was quite generous to let me avoid that, honestly. Although, I, I am playing a challenge run, so I pretty much have no right to complain about the game. Like, at least, like, genuinely. I'm only complaining because I'm mad. Because obviously, I'm just really restricting myself for no reason. Not for no reason, but, you know. No, a normal player would not be this restricted. So these complaints are not really valid. At least in terms of like criticizing the actual game itself. Yeah, I still say the combos are bullshit though. That that is a valid criticism. And a true a truth, a valid truth. An objective truth that the combos in this game suck ass. And that Dark Souls is better. Or any from software game really. Except for like this is literally the worst one. I love how just a bunch of pebbles do like that much damage to you as well, that's right. I love how it's RNG determined, like how many times he throws it, if he gives you, if he does that one combo that actually lets you punish him, or if he doesn't. 
or like here if he'll just inst like trade damage with you or if he'll like actually let you get, get away with your life complete random RNG whatever don't care as long as it's beatable you know the only way this game would be actually bad is if, if any of this was unbeatable or unfair. I mean, to be fair, it is unfair to a degree, but not extremely. It's forgivable. What's not is when the game doesn't read my inputs, that's right. I'll have everyone complains about that move, but that's actually the easiest move he has. That, that one's so easy to dodge, unless you get, obviously, stun locked beforehand. Like, but that, that goes for everything in this game, really. Because the, 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 game, the game devs really wanted you to get stun locked a lot, clearly. They love they love stun lock. Whoever developed this game, they love stun lock. I'm saying whoever because obviously it wasn't the A team. I think the A team was actually working on Armored Core while the B team was working on Elden Ring. They were like, okay, Elden Ring is the slop to, to, to satisfy all the Elden Ring or the Dark Souls fans who are missing Dark Souls. Armored Core is the game that we actually want to make. That's what it seems like to me at least. I never played Armored Core, but from the things I heard, apparently it's perfect. So. Okay, that's that's a bit bullshit still, a bit iffy. But again, it, it, it's just a bit of damage. It doesn't really matter. It's forgivable. Is he ever gonna get stunned ever, or he just like decided not to? I think he just decided not to get stunned ever. It's quite disappointing, honestly. That's great. I love how he didn't even let me punish. That's great. And I literally just did it perfectly. And that, that's what that's what so pissing, that's so annoying about this game. Like it, the combat doesn't sm slow f uh, slow smooth smoothly, <laughs> flow smoothly because the game doesn't let you even fucking punish some some attacks. I'm actually dead. Yep, stunlock, stunlock, stunlock. I love getting killed by stunlock, dude. I love it. I love it so much. Ooh, I love getting killed by stunlock. I love it. I love getting killed by stunlock. I love it. I love how you make one mistake and you're dead in this game. Literally, game is completely inaccessible to either people, to anyone who doesn't. Uh, here's the thing: if you don't choose the game, and if you're not a top one percent player, this game isn't for you. <laughs> Simple as that. Because holy shit, it's just straight up not. No, I haven't seen a single play person play the game like me. To be fair, on YouTube, which is why you don't see anyone on YouTube criticizing it, because nobody plays it like this. Everyone cheeses it. Same with Dark Souls, right? I was so shocked with like with Dark Souls that, that everyone just cheeses the game with poise build. I was like, what the fuck? Like when I saw, when I saw Jack said the guy played, I was like, is this fucking dude serious? The, the, he, I said dude as if I as if I'm not like familiar with him. I am. I watched him when I was a kid. Um, I was like, is this fucking dude serious? Is he really gonna? Is the, I hope he didn't fucking play it like down on his first round. If he did, it's fucking embarrassing. Especially considering he sells himself as like a fucking huge Dark Souls fan. When, no. If you play the game like that, you are not a fan. Fuck off. It's not the same thing. Especially when people play, let's talk about like the Dark Souls experience. What? What is the Dark Souls experience? Bashing your head against the wall until you eventually get lucky enough to beat the boss. Like I don't think that's what it's about. Just upping your HP until it's enough. I don't think that's what Dark Souls is about, buddy. Grinding for for levels so I can do, do do more damage and stuff. No, I don't think that's it, buddy. I seem like I'm the only person on the fucking planet who has experienced Dark Souls, ex the Dark Souls experience, quote unquote. I don't want to talk about. It really does seem like it, at times. That's probably just because the silent majority who actually experience it are, uh, you know, silent. So that one, I don't know if it's gonna be a fucking rock sling or it's gonna be the other thing. It's annoying. Not gonna let me punish at all. That's great. That's great. I love this game of bits, honestly. Though. I love it. I love it, especially when it doesn't let me punish. I love it. It's so fun, not like not being able to do anything and having to sit in place and do nothing. I love it. It's so fun. Definitely better than Bloodborne, where you actually get to like move around and fight the boss the entire time. At least I can punish him like that. That's good. That move is like consistent, at least semi. Consistent. Okay, that's insane that I, that I didn't get hit there. I fucked up there majorly. No, I didn't. Like, the game literally just fucking dragged me into the, the guy. Into Malekith. So I'm shocked that it didn't, like, kill me. Okay, that time it hit me, but every other time it doesn't. That makes perfect sense. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Thank you, thank you. Can I, can I heal at least? No? No. 
I guess I can't. I guess I can't. That's the bullshit move I was talking about. That's the bullshit move I was talking about. That's the one bullshit move he has. The one truly bullshit move. And I guess also the fact that the, the double spin stun locks you. But the double spin itself is not a bullshit move. You can still dodge the first one. I hope people will say like, don't panic roll, don't panic roll. It's like, bro, do you have like nerves to steal? What, what do you mean don't panic roll? I, I, the thing is, it's not even because of panic. It's just because of uh, anger. Yeah, it's an anger roll. That's the thing. This was this game specifically does a lot. It, it like pisses you off, which makes you play worse because you're pissed off. At least for me, that's what it does. It pisses me off with this bullshit, and then it, the, the next one it doesn't do any bullshit. Or to be fair, this time it did bullshit twice in a row, which is um, quite uh, unusual, honestly. Usually this game sticks to like one, uh, one bullshit per 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 thing. And then it decides to like let you chill for a run, but that run you're gonna fuck up because you're mad. Oh, that's great. Yeah, see, see what I mean by bullshit. Yeah, the pillars are such a great addition to this boss fight. Really don't mess you up at all. Really aren't unfair at all. Make some attacks straight up undodgeable. Not at all. What? This game? What? This game flaws? No, again, perfect. Perfect. First perfect game ever made in humanity. As you can tell, I'm very salty right now. Don't mind me. Just ignore everything I'm saying. I'm just trying to provide commentary. Like, since I'm pissed off, this is the only kind I can provide. No punishment, that's good. I, lo I love not being able to punish attacks. I love those little rocks that he throws afterwards, because like those are like actually unpredictable. Because you can't see it, you can't fucking see it because of all the, the rocks that go flying. It's actually fucking invisible. Oh, I still can't stun him, that's so fucking weird. That's actually so odd. Great. Yeah. Also, he delays that move as well sometimes, which doesn't help again. He actually delays it sometimes by like maybe like half a second, which makes you fuck up. There we go. I think the best bait with Malekith is just try to go a light, a light attacks, and that's it. Just do light attacks because they're the safest. So basically, play like your boring ass bitch boy. It doesn't risk anything ever. That kid doesn't like excitement. I'm actually fucked because I'm not a. Uh... Fuck's sake, I hate that move so much. I actually do. That's stupid. That's so stupid. The fact that that got me, that is stupid. Okay. Uh -huh. I think I think VG Matthew said that that move is undodgeable unless you like. Uh... Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. That, that one's kind of like to be fair. Like that move is not the worst. Definitely not good though. Yeah, and then he pairs it up with that move, which is like also shit because like literally you just need to know the timing. There's no tell for it. There's no tell. There's no like sound. There's no sound cue. There's nothing. You just have to know the timing. So you just have to die to it 50 billion times and then hope that you get a time the timing eventually. Not 50 billion. I'm exaggerating, but still, you have to die to it so many times in the issue. It's not. It's not like he spams that move. It's not like he has like very few moves. Like with the, the reason, like I see a lot of people. Like I see a, no, a lot of people. I see Lorenzo specifically. Compare uh, one of my viewers compare like Dark Souls to this. You can't. They're not even similar like in terms of like like uh, the gameplay pacing and other certain things. Like you said like okay for example like oh yeah yeah in Dark Souls 2 you know you have to like uh, what the fuck was my argument even like beforehand? I forgot. Like there's so much shit I have to say about these boss bosses that I forget. Right. And, and uh, Dark Souls 2 you know they also tend to like spam moves. Like yeah well, sure but they don't also have like 50 billion moves. That's the difference. In Dark Souls, you gotta watch out for like one to two moves. <laughs> like the fights really do not have a lot of moves. I mean, well, in, uh, yeah, I love, how, I love how I can punish. In Elden Ring, there's just so many, it's insane. Like, how the fuck am I not supposed to, like, uh, get caught off guard? 
Like, I'm supposed to just fucking have like 20 different moves in my head and expect every single one at the same time and have a counter for every single one? Like, I'm sorry, but I'm a human being. Thank you very much. So he can do that or he can do the other one. It pisses me off. It really does. Okay, that I want to just dodge too late. At least he didn't send me flying off the cliff. It, if it did, of course he doesn't let me heal. Of course he doesn't. Okay, that, that literally just is his, his arm. His arm hit me there and nothing else. Bullshit. Hitboxes in this game are so accurate, guys. So accurate. You can literally do an emote and avoid an attack. Whoever made that fucking video, I swear to god. I don't even remember anymore. He was like a big YouTuber. Made a video like saying like the hitboxes are fucking flawless. Amazing. The best ever made. And then you have shit like this. My bro misses me completely and still hits me. Makes sense. I mean, I know why, like, the thing is as well, it's such a manipulative video because he literally did it with, like, Ch uh, Chad, <laughs> Soldier of Godric, which obviously, yeah, he's gonna have good hitboxes, he's such, he's such, such, he has such basic attacks that obviously the hitboxes cannot fucking get fucked up. Can I even, yeah, I can, okay, I, I just fucking risk it, I risk it. That's great, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love that. I love how it, it literally locks me off. That's great, great addition for the pillars, man. I'm sure it looked very pretty, right? No, I'm, no, actually, you know, I'm sure that they, they put it in for a practical reason, not just because it looks nice. Definitely, definitely because of a practical reason. Definitely had this plan fight out, uh, thought out with the, with the pillars and stuff. Can I punish? That's good. That's great. Can't even punish, and I get punished in turn. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, I have no idea how to survive that. I literally couldn't see anything because of the dumbass camera. I was saved by luck there. Saved by luck. Okay. I'm gonna just drink, because why not? Excuse me, what? Excuse moi What the fuck was that? That's so fucked. It's so buggy. Unless you, unless you have like the intended happen to you. That's great. What? Okay, the circle was larger that time than the other time. I could swear to God, the circle was larger. Gotta heal again, cause I know this game favors one-shot attacks. As in, ones that one shot you. So I gotta have full HP at all times, I really do. Except I'm not gonna. The fucking drain. Look how large the circle is, what the hell? It's actually expanding the more I fight him, what's this bullshit? This is actual bullshit, it's literally expanding as I fight him. Okay, one more attack and he's done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bitch. Witless tarnished, bro. Fuck off. You're the fucking dumb monkey brain who just fucking uh, swings his sword around like a fucking idiot and just like does pulls bullshit out of his ass like making his uh, little sword circle 50 billion times larger just because it's funny. No, I think the reason it got it, get, it got bigger uh, is just because it was like stuck on a, on a pillar. And it doesn't like, it's a physical object, I guess, so it gets pushed. It gets, it, gets, it, gets, it gets pushed out, which obviously makes it literally impossible to dodge. It's so funny. It's so funny how, how little care that was put into the end game of this game. I think mean, little care. It depends on where you go. As like a game, from the game design perspective. It was definitely put a lot of care in from the animation perspective. And the team that was like, uh, okay, you guys make cool bosses. Yes, very good. We don't care. But Miyazaki-san, what if they're not playable? Uh, we don't care. We don't care. We want to, we don't know, we want, we want cool, cool, cool uh, black cat with a uh, sword. A black dog, black dog with sword. With, with big, big red, red shiny sword. We want to, we want to have big shiny sword. Big, big anime flips. Do make sure to do a lot of big anime flips. Fucking hell, man.
Miyazaki-san, you, 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 you made this character, it's a human. How are we making him do like crazy attacks and stuff? It's just a human person, it's like a normal person. What do you want us to do? Uh, make her float in the air and then do a fucking bunch of circle. Make her, make her do a Virgil, a bunch of Virgil slashes in the air. Make, make, make her do an unavoidable combo unless you're like far away from her. It's fucking hell, man. The, the in-game design sucks. It does. Morgoth really do be the last actual fair boss in the game. He really do be the last fair boss in the game. He really do be the last, like... I want to say 10 out of 10 boss, but not... Let's say he, he really do be the last 9 out of 10 boss in the game. After that, all the endgame bosses, 8 out of 10 maximum. Malekith is probably like a 7. Millenn Millennia might be a 9. Millennia might be 9, to be fair. Um... Okay, fuck. Godfrey's also. Uh, Godfrey's an eight. Actually, nah, he's a nine, as well. Nah, there's plenty. Of, I'm, I'm bullshitting. There's plenty of them. That's great. I'll take damage. Fuck! I'm gonna die. Can you stop throwing blood? You're not you're not Moog, buddy. You're not Moog. Okay, that damaged me, that, that's great, I love it. I love how he does it perfectly just so like both like two of them hit me, you know what I mean? Like two uh Yeah, that's great, that's fucking fantastic. I love it. I'll just spam it, just keep spamming it. Spam town. That's great. Goodbye. Fuck him. What a piece of shit. He stands no chance against the god of war. <laughs> the god of war. <laughs> so so fucking stupid. Looks so, like I don't I don't know what the fucking god of war even is. Or who Kratos is. The god of war. He <laughs> stands no chance against the titular character. The titular main character of the god of war series. The god of war. Fucking hell. Okay, uh, uh, Gideon genuinely the worst boss in the game. The worst main boss in the game. Mandatory, I guess, would be the best word to describe it. Second would probably be Margit, maybe? Nah, nah, Margit's good, Margit's good. What am I talking about? What am I about? Second mandatory, oh, well, God's can do it, God's can do it. But I, think, I still think Gideon is worse than God's can, God's can do it, Dog's can do it. Uh, what would be the third worst? Elden Beast. Elden Beast. Yeah, Elden Beast. And the fourth would probably be the fucking... Uh, the Urtree... Whatever the fuck it's called. Not Urtree Sentinel? Oh, that, yeah, Urtree Sentinel. The, the, the dragon, draconic Urtree Sentinel. That would probably be the, the fourth worst boss. Uh, from the main ones. I'm not too shabby, honestly. Not too shabby. If those are the worst bosses, I mean, that's not too shabby. That's a pretty good game. If that's the worst fucking... If that's the worst it has to offer from the main game. Now, the side game. That's a whole different beast, dude. That has so much shit in it that it's even not... No point even talking about it, honestly. Because people still cope and they think the... They, th they still think the open world is great. I don't understand where they got that from. I genuinely would love to see someone actually defend the open world. Like, with actual arguments and not just saying, Yeah, you're dumb. Because you think it's bad. It's definitely bad. The only open world that I think, uh, in recent memory, that I think is worse than Elden Ring is uh, the Pokemon one. Fuck off. I thought I dodged. Damn that reach! Okay, okay, yes, yeah, okay, boys, boys. He ha- Okay, boys, okay, look. I miss- I miscalculated his reach, boys. I miscalculated his reach, okay? I don't suck. I just miscalculated his reach. It's as simple as that. As simple as that.
can't even see him. What the fuck? I can't even see him, dude. Okay, Zeus V2. Should we say this is Thor? Represent Thor? I mean, this guy can re re represent a lot of fucking characters, man. In God of War. Just, just, just big guy with white beard. That's it. Not exactly, though. A unique fucking character. Concept. I mean, the fucking lion on the back is kind of fucking cool, though. That is definitely very much original. And his armor. Oh, no, his armor is just kind of like high fantasy, to be fair. Generic high fantasy armor. Fucking hell. I'm doing solo damage. It's insane. I'm I'm I'm, I'm double building it. Yeah, I got a double handed. Okay, that, I got lucky there. I think. That makes no sense though. Why? Why would I? Why would that be luck? Because uh, I felt like I was fucking doing a pretty good job of uh, damage him, but then I do no damage, which is weird. Whatever. He's gone. Second phase. The second phase. He didn't even reach his second phase. We're going straight to third. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this is the move. This is why uh, Godfrey can't be a 10 out of 10. It's because he has moves that are straight up unpunishable. But you have to just sit there and wait. It's just annoying. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to fucking just sit and wait and do nothing. Okay. Bro, can you stop with the fucking... Can you stop with the leg fucking uh, thingies? I think you've done enough, buddy. Yeah, oh, fuck's sake. The, this move is just so such a pain in the ass. You literally just have to run away. Okay, I can't even punish you with a fully charged. That's kind of lame. What the fuck? That's such a rare move. I swear to God, he barely ever does that. Fuck's sake, man. Fuck. Stop. Woo. Okay. Goodbye. Rest in peace. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. I love it every single time. He's just like in these games. He's just like a small fucking dude. And it's just you're getting like respect from all these like hawking monsters. We're really just like a tiny little dude. It's so funny. Like compared to them, at least. <laughs> okay. Uh, why am I going for seventy bigger? What's wrong with me? Come on, I have to. I have to. I know it's not funny anymore, but I have to. No, fuck you, actually, it's funny. It's, it's still funny. It's still funny, damn it. It's still funny. It's still a funny meme. 131, ugh. Can I keep it at like 18? And then 54 strength? That's fine. There we go. I just like even numbers, okay? Wait. No, it's not even. No, it's 131. What am I on about? Fuck it, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Let's go fight these bitches and then we can go fight Melania. Very nice. Let me just check something real quick before I do this. And I can check to be fair. I don't think anyone's even watching to be fair right now. At least I don't think. I'm gonna check that as well. Why not? To demotivate myself a little bit more. <laughs> not to be fair, it's not like I'll fucking actually care about. I mean, it's better if people are watching, obviously, but I don't really care too much. Yeah, nobody's fucking watching. Uh. Right. I got I got 74 subs now. I got like two new subs that, since I started streaming. But this stream got me two more subs. That's cool. That's cool. It's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, okay. No shock. None of the regulars were here at all. That's kind of weird. 
I was wondering like if they would then maybe they get the fucking stream. I guess they're just busy today. Can't really it's all window, but it's kinda of like whatever. Shit happens, people have lives. Why do they say it like that? People have lives. That's what I was gonna say. In that tone. Let me switch real quick. Okay, Bro, just let me fucking re get. No, oh, he literally spammed the same move twice. How is that fair? Dodge that too late, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Why like my audio cut off? They cut off for you guys too? Not you guys. Whoever's watching this in the future. Maybe leave in the comments if it uh if the audio cut out just then. What? Holy moly. Thank you for doing that, actually. Now I can heal. You're actually... I hate you. I was about to say you're based. You're not based. You're a fucking loser. It's so lame that you would do that. Okay, fuck off. Fuck. Just let me heal. Please. One second. Come on. You're really not gonna let me heal. I'm gonna die, definitely, because it's not let me heal. Like, how am I supposed to? Like, that's the thing, right? Here, here's, here's the thing with that attack. If he teleports like directly on top of you, it's so stupid because basically you cannot tell if you, if he's gonna do. You can obviously, if you can't, if you're a fucking top one percent player who knows everything about this game and has no life and only plays this game. And I say has no life in the most literal sense, as in uh, not most literal. I said no has no life in the sense that uh, you literally do not like fun and you play only one fucking thing in your life. That's sad. Just sitting and playing one single video game, nothing else. Whatever. Let's not run about that. I was gonna say, it's bullshit because you can't tell if he's gonna do the quick fucking one, which you have to preemptively dodge, otherwise you can't, can't react to it, it's literally not reactable. Um, and then you have the, whatever the fuck else was, um, the other one, which he just did, which will just catch you if you roll preemptively, which is bullshit. Mind you, before you complain to me, or I say I'm a pussy, right, I, can't, um, I talk at this game, I have beaten this boss, no hit. I have 700 hours in the game. That's all I'm saying. I literally pressed X, but good. I love when the game doesn't uh, input read, but it input reads whenever I heal. That's great. I fucking I didn't think he was that low in HP. To be fair, I don't think he was. Okay. What the fuck? I never saw him do like two consecutive ones. What's that? What the fuck are you doing, loser? Okay, that's stupid. I uh, literally can't punish him unless you have a big weapon. That's great. I love it. See? Uh, that's random. That's I thought it was based on distance, maybe. It's not. It's random. It's actually random. I genuinely thought, like, Lorenzo, Lorenzo likes to yap a lot, that everything's based on distance. Yeah, that one was not. That one was not based on distance. That one was literally based on luck. It's literally a 50-50 chance. Guaranteed. I love it, can't punish boss attacks, I love it. I thought it was meant to be weak to fire, bro, strong as shit against fire, what do you mean? Hello? A little bit, a little bit of an animation canceler there, I see. Yeah, I'm done. I'm dead. I'm actually dead, yep. Yep, impossible to dodge. Oh, let, me, let me guess, he's gonna teleport directly on top of me and kill me? No? Okay. Weirdly enough. I guess I got lucky. That's great. I love how every single one of these attacks has an AOE. That's great. 
Not even Godfrey did that. Not even fucking Godfrey did that. Godfrey did that. And people actually complain about his AoEs. Hello? I pressed X. Why well, didn't run? Why did the game run? I guess I, I guess I held it for like literally one millisecond. Yep. Good game. Good game. Just keep doing keep doing the teleporty move. It's it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good game design. Yeah, great. Can I live? Please. Look at my HP. I'm not beating the fucking beast like this. The beast. The Elden. The Elden cunt. I, I dodged, but okay, game. This game has a problem. This game actually has a problem with me. Nah, look at this. Look at him. Look at the teleporting. The sheer amount of teleporting is embarrassing. How is this a good game? Bro is teleporting like crazy. Nah, if you call this a good fucking boss fight, you are off your fucking gourd. You are fucking... You're... you're from software's cock is so deep in your mouth that you, I am surprised you can breathe. I'm surprised you can breathe. I'm surprised you can breathe th uh, through your mouth if you breathe through your mouth. And I'm shocked that you can breathe through your nose without it being plugged up by all the fucking cum in your mouth. I'm genuinely shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. Now, Radagon's fight sucks. Radagon's fight straight up sucks. It's just straight up not good. It's not a good fight. Fuck off. It's not a good fight. What's good about the fight? The fact that he teleports on top of you and then can do one of three fucking moves and they have to be ready for each one and one of them can only be dodged uh, by a, reason a reasonable human being if you fucking uh, if you preemptively dodge but then the other two actually just, like straight up punish you for preemptively dodging makes perfect sense good good ba balance boss oh input reading jumps great i love it yep uh, yep hits me as soon as i get up yep S seems reasonable to me Mind you, I did him fucking no hits, and I did not get lucky either. I had to do it with skill. It's just now, he's being on purpose. I guess I did get lucky, I guess. But then, if, uh, if that's the case, then I guess you have to get lucky for every single one. Uh, every single boss in this game. See, he like preemptively almost charges this up. Or he can do one like that's instant. Yeah, that's great. I dodged it, but okay. What do we say? What do we say, buddy? What do we say? What do makes you happy? What do makes you happy, little Elden and Blazer? I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked that he hasn't, like been stunned yet. I'm genuinely shocked. It's actually impressive that he hasn't been shocked yet. Uh, sh shocked. Stunned yet. Thanks for the delay. I love delayed attacks. They're awesome. Definitely not annoying at all. Definitely not badly designed. Get stunned. Get stunned. Get pregnant. Get pregnant. Oh, can you please get pregnant already? Okay, get stunned. Same meaning, really. Same meaning. Goodbye. I see. If I get lucky and he doesn't teleport on top of me five times in a row, then yeah, I can beat the loss. <laughs> it is luck, it is luck. Fuck you if you say otherwise. It is luck. Yeah, there's skill involved, obviously. There's skill involved in fucking every aspect of everything. Almost. Uh, even fucking gambling. Even really fucking, fucking playing slots with random money. There's some amount of skill involved in that. You have to fucking at least know how to do it. Same thing with this game. You need to know how to do it. But even if you fucking know how to do it, uh, guess what? You can still get fucked. What? I literally dodged. Is that like a new move that I've never seen before? Maybe. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. I love the I love the spam already. I love the bullshit spam already. He's literally not meant to do any of those attacks until phase two, by the way. He never does. He not not once when I fought him, he did he do that. I fought him multiple times, by the way. Again, 700 hours in the game, over 700 hours. I fought him enough to know what when he does certain moves, when he does others. I'm just doing a lot of damage. That's nice. I like doing big damage. Except not too big. Because that shit makes you overpowered. And then you're a pussy who can play the game. Oh, already, already. He pops out and he immediately goes for a swim. He immediately goes for a swim. That's right, I love it.
Was ist das dann jetzt? Nein, ich schaue. Was ist das dann? Hallo, jetzt dann. Jetzt dann, jetzt dann, jetzt dann. Hallo, I'm, I'm pressing, I'm pressing, I'm pressing. I'm pressing dodge. You need to stop, you need to stop and get it. You need to grow up, you need to grow up. Other than beast, you kind of need to grow up, honestly. I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die to Elden Stars, this is shit. I, I fucking dodged too late. I'm an idiot. Oh no, too early. I love how that time it one shot me, even though I probably have more H HP than I've ever had in my life. And uh, any, any of these other runs? <sighs> whatever, whatever. I really should just stop complaining because people just get so triggered. It's insane. Over someone else's opinions, it's embarrassing, quite frankly, that people care that much. <gasps> What's happening? Oh no, no, no. Because it's the fucking. Oh my god. Are you shitting me? Because it's the fucking. It's the, it's the border. Imagine getting killed by that, dude. What a fucking shit fest. Of a game, of a boss fight, not a game. What a shit fist of a boss fight. The fact, the fact that you can get like straight up stuck on a fucking wall and that's how you die. Imagine. That is embarrassing game design. Can I, can I hit you now? Thank you. That's great, thank you. Okay, first of all, camera was working against me. Second of all, fuck this game. I hope... <sighs> I just wanna want die at this point, honestly. The fucking... The, the fact that this game can pull this much bullshit in one night. This is actually insane. I should have been just fucking putting here and just going to fight Melania instead. Because at least Melania doesn't pull this kind of bullshit, honestly. I hear I thought Melania pulled the most bullshit in the game. Nah, no, nah, not by far. Melania is more, one of the more fair fights in the game, honestly. Now, now my opinions have completely changed. This is actually such bullshit. Radagon Elden Beast is literally the worst fight in Elden Ring. That's that's uh, actually you know a boss fight, proper boss fight. I'm not including all the like reused enemies or reused bosses in the side dungeons. This is actually the worst fight in the game. I would rather fucking fight gods can do it. I genuinely would. Okay, I ran a stand on there. My fault. My my, my my fault. Okay, that was bullshit. I heard that you can just walk around that, but I guess people lie on the internet. What a shocker. That one I know you can fucking sidestep. Fuck's sake, I, I love this game. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna fucking kill me now. Like, literally break his pa uh, attack pattern just to kill me, because they do this all as well, very often. Very often enemies will just suddenly like, have an, an, another completely different combo. Or completely different like, move. they basically b break any kind of... established, you know, convention. And their attack pattern. Any sort of pattern, they'll break it and just to kill you. It's actually embarrassing. Okay, that was lucky. That was lucky. What? <laughs> Bro thought he could get the charge attack off. He fucking thought. I still have the fucking thing equipped. The Moog, the Moog uh, tier. That's actually so L, why I still have that equipped? Fuck's sake. I'll, uh, how did I not do enough poise damage? I don't get it. Like, I was doing fine poise damage to, to, to Radagon. And then to Elden Beast, there's just like all the poise damage is suddenly gone. So weird. <laughs> Did you have been able to break his poise once? Wow. Let's spawn over here. I literally dodged on time. What the fuck is that bullshit? That time, I, okay, that, that time was genuinely millisecond difference. That time was genuinely milliseconds. How come it, that, that time I did less damage than the other time? She makes no sense. Oh, I have damage resistances. Never mind. Okay, it makes sense. I have some damage resistance uh, thingy from the tier. Or oh, from the fl Fidget Flask. I can't even see its attacks, man. That's so unfair. Stop it. 
Let me see it. Let me see the fucking boss. Thank you. Like, I think that's the baseline. Like, if, if a boss is fair enough, if I can even fucking see it. At the very least, that. Finally, finally, finally. Goodbye. No, he's gone. He's gone. He's literally gone. He stands no chance. Goodbye. Goodbye, Elden and Elden Yeast. Elden Yeast, more like. No, actually, he might fuck me. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're gone. Elden Beast, more like Elden Yeast. You know, at the very least, when you play the game like this, you can actually sh uh, show off that you're skilled. Because guess what? These, I mean, this actually doesn't matter anyways. Uh, I was gonna say like you can you can show, see how skilled a player is just by the am amount of flasks that they have left by the end of a boss fight. But that's not really like, true at all. You can you can tell the amount of bullshit that they ran into. But like your skill is basically just determining can you beat the boss? Yes or no? Yes, good. Can you do it without mimic tears? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Your skill level is slightly higher. Can you do it without o OP builds? Yes. Okay, your your skill level is pretty high now. You're knocking the top ten percent now, or maybe even top five. Yes, I'm calling myself in the top five or top ten percent of players. Because, but to be fair, to be fair, like most players just use mimic tier or whatever. Not nothing against those people, obviously. You know, play the game whichever one way you want. But goddamn, you're not good at the game. <laughs> doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But you're not. Simple as that. I feel like some people still give people even get offended whenever you say like, "Well, yeah, if you use mimic tiers and stuff, you're cheating the game." It's like they're like, "No, I'm not." It's like, "Yes, you fucking are." I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I never said that, right? <laughs> like, it's insane. Some people actually do get offended by that shit. It's actually shocking. It's, it's clearly cheesing the game, obviously. Like, what would you call cheesing the game? What, what using glitches and bugs? That's not cheesing. That's sure of cheating. <laughs> That's abusing the game. It's not cheese. My my brain functionality is actually insane. My brain my, my my brain functions at another level. It's actually impressive. It is actually straight up impressive how fucking how high of a function my brain my brain has. It's fucking that, that was embarrassing. I think I'm, I I've actually come close to dying like that several times during these streams, but I've never actually died like that. That is fucking embarrassing. Ah, oh, might as well take these, why not? I think I'll level up to 130 maybe. I think 130 is like the perfect time, perfect level to be at the end of the game. For Melania at least. For Melania is pretty much end game. The, the most end game you can get. Oh nice, we got some fucking Undertale music playing, hell yeah. I'll do the thirty just so just so I don't gotta waste the fucking points. Wait, hundred. Wait, I'm 130 already. What the fuck am I doing? I don't know. We're not leveling up anymore. We're not. We're not. Yo, hello, Yarek. Welcome, welcome. You came right in. Right, right in, where? You came right in time. We're about to finish off with the Melania. The dead. Uh. Well, I'm probably gonna go edit the video somewhere and then I'm gonna go fucking mirror mirror because I need to go to sleep earlier today. Probably like 2 a.m. instead of 4 a.m. I think. I think that'll do. Because goddamn, dude, I'm fucking tired. Every single one of these streams, I'm tired as fuck. Like, at least every single one. Like, the one yesterday and the one today because I just didn't get enough sleep. It sucks. Anyway, how, how's your day uh, going? You get enough sleep, all of that? I slept through entire day after college. Uh, I can relate, man. I can relate. When we have those fucking long ass days in college, we got a ton of fucking shit. Honestly, just, just a mirror, mirror. 
Just a mirror. Best option, really. Okay. I'll only switch back to the rank here. There we go. For Melania, I think that's appropriate. Fucking hell, bro. Jump scared me. By the way, Yarek, we're uh, changing the, bit of the schedule a bit, I think. I decided, like, I think five days in a row playing Othering and doing that every single week, that might be a bit too much for me. So I'm actually gonna change it so the random games are switched to uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we're still doing Othering most of the week, but I still wanna kinda like divide it up so it's more equal. Cause I don't feel like playing Othering every single day for the entire fucking work week. That shit will actually rot my brain. So I think on Friday we're doing Bloodborne PSX, then on Saturday I'm gonna probably do some horror games, maybe Poppy Playtime 1 and 2. And then on Sunday we're gonna do, what the what's it called, uh, fucking Subnautica. Still need to make the thumbnails for Subnautica though, and uh, the horror games. I was actually surprised you wanted to do it every day. Yeah, I, 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 I changed my mind, I'm not doing it every day anymore. I, to be fair, I never wanted to do it every day, just every day of the week. And, and the, every day of the work week. And then, uh, on I was always gonna play it like on weekends. The, I guess from what I remember, I don't remember saying anything otherwise. Maybe I did. I don't know. On, on weekends, I was always planning to like play some random games because I just knew that I would not be able to play Elden Ring only. That shit would break my psyche. Fuck. I fuck off, dude. I think I got. Thank God I got the elevator. Fuck's sake. So yeah, I'm gonna put it out a bit more evenly now. Just gotta update the channel banner and that's it, pretty much. I think four runs is enough. I mean, considering these are way longer than those other streams, the weekend streams, I think it's only fair. Because these, these streams are like, oh, to be fair, this one isn't. This one's gonna be like five hours long in total, probably. Or what am I doing? Fuck's sake, man. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna fucking jump again. <laughs> just to reset. So yeah. I'm gonna do it then on Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Just so we have more time as well, time as well, because I feel like as well, whenever we have like maybe like a a, a game we're playing, like a specific game, I don't know, like uh, Eldering, uh, Eldering, yeah, Eldering Convergence mod, right? So I guess for that, I'll actually just replace the the challenges with that probably. Whenever we're doing that, that is, or like for any other games that I'm playing at the same time, like so for example, Subnautica, maybe I can do Subnautica as well. Like, for, for Subnautica is pretty short, so I'm not gonna do that for that, but like. For longer games that we play on the weekends, then then I could like maybe do it on Saturday and Sunday the game, you know that we're currently playing, and then on Friday just do the random game, the the actual random game. So yeah, I got the PSX uh, Bloodborne PSX demo already though. Let me show you. Wait, I'm quite quite not not quite proud. What am I saying? <laughs> it's not it's not a really that it's not that good. But let me let me show you. It's fine. It's like an okay thumbnail. What is it? Uh, videos. Thumbnails, I think. There we go. This is it. I think it's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. It's called. It's got the video is gonna be called Bloodborne on PC. No, Bloodborne, but on PC. That's that's gonna be the title of the stream, and the video as well. I'm not gonna make it a different titles or, or thumbnails for the videos. Hell no. There's no way. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. I, mean, I basically just took the thing. I took. I, Fucking took a retarded picture of myself and then I fuck, 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 fucking finally takes text over. It's not that, it's not that complicated or anything, but it, I think it's pretty good. Did you draw, draw the wolf? No, 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 no. This is the art for the actual game itself. This is this is the art for the game itself. I just literally just put the picture of myself, put the text of finally. I again, added the outline, the 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 shine, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty lazy thumbnail, but I think it works pretty well. I think it looks pretty good. Regardless. I, I do not know how to draw. I mean, I do know how to draw, but I do not know how to draw from, me like, memory or, like, original art. I can only, like, draw shit that I've already seen. Like, from other people. I'm, I'm like, like, looking at, you know, the drawings. And besides, I don't have a tablet, so I couldn't even draw uh, digitally. I could only do it on paper. I'm planning to get one eventually, though, whenever I earn enough money from YouTube. I think I'll probably start saving up that for that from now on. For a nice little tablet that I can... I think it will help, I think, with making thumbnails as well, because I can draw my own shit if I'm missing anything. Or just, like, assets for my, for my games as well. That could be nice, too. I'm 
Bro, this bitch is fucking stupid. This bitch is actually stupid. Watch this. Bruh. Ayo, ayo, this ain't it. This bitch is fucking actually stupid as shit. That's how. She's still not entering the second phase. What's going on? I thought she'd enter sooner. Fuck's sake. There we go. Yeah, she gone. Yeah, bro. Actually sad, kind of. Honestly. Kind of sad. Only damage me... Well, twice. Goodbye. That is actually kind of sad. Usually Loretta at least gives me like some trouble. I think I've only... I think every single time I did her, I think it was on second try. Not on first. So... Uh, I see many new people in chat. Yeah, there was like new, uh, two new people who joined. And they talked in chat. They also subscribe, so we're at 20, 74 subs now. Soon we can do the we can do the chat run soon again. Very soon and we can recreate the chat run in just in one video. Imagine I imagine for the chat run I just I just like mog the entire or not mog. Uh, I just mute the entire stream. I just sat complete silence. I don't even talk to chat or anything. I just I just do like for the for the whatever the latest comment is. <laughs> not definitely not doing that. That definitely not. I can't. I physically am not incapable of uh, not yapping. Physically incapable. Okay. Now just straight to millennia and then we're good. We we'll just go straight for millennia. Should be pretty easy. I, mean, I, th I think I've gotten pretty. I fucking hate that I said that now, because now no, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, I think I'm pretty used to finding Melania now, so it should be fine. Use TTS for yapping and mute for the entire stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just have like every single comment read right out with TTS, and then I type out my own response, just just in like another uh, TTS voice, so you know it's me. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> I, th I think I actually couldn't do that because I think I think I get some, some shit for it because it, it, some people might assume that I'm just straight up disabled and that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> also, I think I could like suck in my cheeks for like five hours straight. <laughs> that, that doesn't sound like a fun idea though. That doesn't sound like a fun idea. Just doing that for five hours straight, imagine. I can't believe I actually dodged all of those perfectly. I'm so proud of myself. I'm actually so proud of myself. That was so good. I mean... Oh, holy shit, I love the, like, like seeing what kind of fucking stupid ass faces I can pull for those thumbnails. Like the, 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 the filler ones, they get <laughs> filler. The ones that aren't uh, Elden Ring. Like the, the, the fucking faces I pulled for some of those, like I got a ton of pictures on, on my private Discord server. Like, <laughs> I actually cannot believe that I can fucking pull such ridiculous faces. It actually looks so bad. I, I, I think it's pretty obvious though that it, they're clearly ironic. They're not meant to be like the typical like YouTuber clickbait faces. They, they're clearly ironic, I'd say. Or sarcastic. I keep, using, I keep using the word ironic because that's how you say it in German. Or like, no, it's not really. It's just that all Germans say for some reason. Even though ironic means like, you know, a firefighter. Uh, that's kind of a dark example, actually. I'm not going to give that example. For example, a... Um, how, 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 I can only think of death. Um, what's like a light example? A, a, a person who advocates against smoking starting to smoke. 
All right, that's an example. That's an example of what something what irony is. And then obviously it would be even more ironic if that person died from from uh, lung cancer or some shit because that they got from smoking. That would be even more ironic. So I tied it back to death again for some reason. Why can't I keep, keep these uh, topics light? For fuck's sake, man. It always devolves into some fucking dark shit. Oh, you, got, you guys like the the uh, the first prop we have in the background? Like a little reference to some of the older videos? It's right there. The fucking hat. It's literally, it's literally right on top of like a gir giraffe, I think. Like a giraffe figurine. Just so, we, just so we have a reference of the dark days when I wore a fucking banana. Because I don't think I'm ever doing it again. It's so itchy. I hate it. Maybe I get like a funny military cap that I can wear. And offend everyone. Everyone thinks like I'm a, I'm a fucking Nazi soldier or something. <laughs> Nazi. Anyways. We're at Melania. Easy. Time to fucking kick her ass. Luckily she's weak to frost, so I don't think Kratos should have a problem. I mean, she's the goddess of rot, but Kratos is the god of war, you know what I mean? I don't think brain rot can win against uh, against war itself. I think it's more of a meme god than anything. Oh, thank god. I actually missed time I dodged so bad. Thank god that, that procced. Fuck, I never do a charge I never do a full charge attack, I swear to god. Here yes, but anywhere else no. I, I still missed. Can I please heal? Thank you. I messed up the first phase phase by quite a bit. I forgot I don't have range. Why isn't she doing- I hate how that- that's so quick, but the other one's like actually so slow. I hope she doesn't punish you sometimes, but sometimes- other times she does. Nah. Can you not like use waterfall please? Hello, woman? Woman, use waterfall, please. Not now. Fucking hell, man. It's undodgeable, it really is. From that distance, from that position, from, from that situation, undodgeable. You have to take some damage. I'm not saying you'll die to it every single time when I say undodgeable. I mean, like, literally, you cannot avoid taking damage. You can avoid taking most of the damage. But not, well, not most of it, some of it. Sometimes most of it. But like, most of the time, you will get just fucked up. What the fuck? Can you not, like, not get frozen, bitch? That, that kind of distracts me. Fuck off. Nah, no. I could have done anything. Because I literally, I literally just committed to an attack, like, and then she jumped into the air immediately. That's what I'm saying, it's unfair. It's straight up, it's straight up unfair, it is, it is. You cannot be aggressive, even though the fight is literally forcing you to be aggressive. Because if you don't, then, if you aren't aggressive, uh, she's just gonna, like, eventually just, like, regain health and you're not gonna get anywhere. Because you are gonna make a mistake if you're not aggressive. And if you're aggressive, you're gonna make mistakes anyways. Mainly, you know, attack, uh, uh, att attacking her. And then she's gonna pull a waterfowl, because obviously she is. She's a bitch. Okay, perfect, perfect. We're doing good. Just stay really, really aggressive and you'll be fine, probably. Most of the time. You gotta preemptively run. You have to preemptively run. If you run by reacting to it, you're gonna get fucked. Almost guaranteed.
Nah. I, I got so lucky there. Honestly I, honestly, I got lucky. No skill. All luck. Fuck's sake, I hate that. She, she rarely does that, and it's literally just random. Can I heal? Thank you. Bye. Okay. That was a near perfect first phase. Near perfect. It's impossible to get it perfect. It's not impossible. Impossible for, impossible for me. I should specify. I still have the blood thing on. That's so annoying. Fuck's sake, I can't even see that shit. I literally- uh, hello, 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 okay. Nice, at least I can heal. Yes, 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 technique, 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 technique. Uh, to be fair, she doesn't even have a cooldown on it, so, in second phase, so it doesn't really matter anyways. Fuck's sake, okay, so only what do one charge it. Or only do one uh whatchamacallit? Light attack, otherwise you're fucked. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. This is going this is going great. This is going fantastic, okay? Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. I need to stop. Fuck's sake. Fuck, no, no, no. Fucking hell, that shit is so luck based. It's not luck-based, but still. If you want to dodge it perfectly, goddamn, it's difficult. It's definitely skill-based, dude. The, fucking, the moment I fucking like looked up how to do it, I was able to. What's up, bitch? Fuck's sake. Alright, you got you bitch you ready, bitch? Goodbye. Yep. Goodbye. You got killed by the fucking rage. Raw. Fucking, uh, what's it called again? Spartan rage. Get fucked. Fists only. Fists only. Fists only, boys. Fists only. Clear. Look at me. I got fists on. Come on. It's fists only. That was good. That was a good one. That was a good one. Ju 4 hours 45 minutes, that was a really good run. I'm really, really like getting these runs faster and faster because I'm getting good at the game. That's good. That's perfect. <laughs> GG. GG boy. GG. GG boys. <clears throat> There's actually water physics here. That's kind of cool. Never noticed. <laughs> okay. Let's see. It's... Yeah, it's almost 10. I think it's done. I think that's it for today, probably. Uh, am I gonna do something else? Do I wanna like do anything? No, I think I'm just gonna edit my video. Honestly, I just wanna. I just wanna stop with the fucking. I'm like, kind of. Proc I'm like procrastinating by making like builds and uh, thumbnails. I think like I should stop with that for now. I should just focus on making the video and getting that video out. So I'm gonna try and do, uh, do that. Uh, and then, whenever the, I'm downloading the second part of the video, that's when I'll make the thumbnail. So I actually, like maximize my productivity. Well, maximize. Maximize would be much different because I'm still procrastinating very much. Uh, in fact, these streams are procrastinations. <laughs> okay, good night. Yep, good night, Yarek. Good night, everyone who are watching this in the future, or if there's anyone besides Yarek, which I highly doubt, but still. Good night. See you later.